And now, the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Jake can hold his breath longer than Maynard. You heard it. You heard it, everybody. You heard it here first. Big J Okerson, better than Maynard. Better, better, more powerful singer. That's a shirt. Hashtag better than Maynard. Better than Maynard. Hey guys, it's coming out in our merch collection. You can find on Jacob. What's the address again? ProWrestlingTees.com. Are we just, we're just going to go do it is ourselves. Anybody, is anybody aware of our merch collection that we have? Out there? Hey, it's the Bonfire Comedy Central Radio Series XM95. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J Okerson. And this is the fucking Lost Tapes, dudes. Dudes. And um, dudettes. I, um,. I'm We're sorry. I'm sorry. I have specific. to first. I, I take full responsibility for this, and I and I apologize to anyone that gets in, incriminated here. Jacob, why were you disinfecting the entire studio when you walked in? Now you know what you know. We come in here. We come in. Here it's after a war zone. He whose name we not speak. Oh, well, c- come on now. What ha- you were in here disinfecting I, like Mister Clean? Right. You were I mean, a, you were a scrubbing bubble. Was... You were a little scrubbing bubble. No, dude. Can you, you're a little scrubbing bubble. <laughs> My area was a little unkept, so I needed to disinfect. Disinfect? Why did you have to disinfect? Well, I mean, it looked like some stains on the desk. Oh, man. I got stains on my dick. Let's just start writing. Let's just write a passive aggressive country, country song. song about That's it. so great. I don't touch this studio ain't yours. It's Clear. God's. <laughs> Clearly, you think we're a couple of bitches because you treat us as such. Walking in like we pee, sitting down, and it don't take much to get. Uh, I clean up your mess like we have breasts, yeah. and we cream and man hugging the hoe. Uh, I ain't your maid. I actually get paid. <laughs> trying to fight. I actually get paid. But don't think that the lose won't fight you. Oh, I like this. This country song. <laughs> it's for how it, it passive call, aggressive country. Dude, passive aggressive country is my favorite new thing. <laughs> you walk back in the studio two times. How did you miss your mess? You know what we just call the song? Nice hat. <laughs> the ultimate passive aggressiveness. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, nice last name, dude. Well, thanks for cleaning up the studio, Jacob. I, I, th- I'm, 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 I have irate. a problem with germs more than most. So well, you can ask Lou. I would agree got, with this. Here's lying. what happened because. Who was it? Lou, were you my, in here? Some people might not have noticed. No, Black Lou was in here. I, I Black came in, Lou. By the way, clean. come clean. I've been compl- I just want to say this real quick. I've been complimenting Jacob's haircut, but Black Lou, I noticed. <laughs> but Black I, saw you got, I saw you got lined up. Black Lou, you know. Black Lou always keeps it tight. I try to. Yeah, yeah, but before his vacation, he was a little. He let it go a little before. Yeah. The, yeah. yeah. And now he came in. Oh, was he trying to look a little more islandy for a vacation? <laughs> <laughs> Don't come here to San Francisco. <laughs> Buraka. Burak. 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 Oh, well, that's um, Louis J. Gomez. That's actually trademarked by Louis J. Gomez and company. Trademarked by Louis J. Gomez. That's trademarked by Louis J. Gomez and company. Real ass dude. Um, I'm uh, irate. Jacob is the only word I can use. I'm I'm not. I'm actually really f- glad I found out about passive aggressive country music. Oh, you know what? You're right. That because a way, that's a good way to put your anger at. Because when we walked in here, I was taking a piss in the bathroom, and they had the country station on, and there was a song where I was like, "Is this song just about not raping a drunk girl, <laughs> but in a very passive way?" <laughs> it's called Chris Jansen's Drunk Girl. Why is there studio hot sauce? All of your show is white. Couple charge stamps, got her hand looking like a rain. For someone who talks about... Oh, yeah, just like the wind. We're just going to keep doing the Fugue song? Oh, I'll keep doing it. I'll do country... I'll do passive aggressive country all day on Fugues. I'm always doing it to the tune of... I'm going to love you forever. I'm forever and ever. Amen. I'm going to feud with you forever. Forever and ever till we get fired for bringing it up. Uh, but anyways, in this song, he basically just Take a drunk girl home, here it is. Let her sleep all alone. Leave her keys on the counter. You know what? the phone. Pick up her life. She threw on the floor. Leave the whole light zone. Walk out and lock the door. Take her stuff. You know. <laughs> Difference in a boy and a man. Take a drunk girl home. He goes, I look through her purse, <laughs> smell her panty, she's out. She can't tell you're not going to rape her. You're a good dude, but you can still look around. And if she starts snoring, jerk off in her hair. 
<laughs> Maybe take an iPhone charger too. <laughs> <laughs> there are there's only if it's original Apple. That second market cords always don't work. They always bleed through. <laughs> <laughs> is this a hey wake up little darling? Is this an actual lightning cord? If you got a truck, take a flat screen <laughs> off her living room. Yeah, it's a song about uh, leaving, a, taking a drunk girl home and then letting her uh, go to bed as opposed to raping her. I've done that. Yeah. Taking a drunk girl home and just set her down and Dude, left. I had the saddest one ever at Playwrights. This uh, We were drinking after a Caroline show. This woman, she was like a woman, like 55, blackout drunk, didn't make any sense. And I was like, lady, where are you? She was just like, she was starting to become five a Five years ago about? Yeah. It's my mom. Oh. She's 60 now. Well, I'll tell you this. She can't handle her shit. Uh, I hope she learned how to drink. Dan, she was just trying to party with you. Um, but this woman was just doing shots, and we're like, lady, are you all right? And she, the, they were about to kick her out, but she couldn't stand up, and everyone's like, well, we're going to call the cops and just send her to jail. And I was like, lady, where do you live? And she's like, I live in Astoria. I'm like, I live in Astoria. Where are you going? And I like, oh, and I did that. And like, I took a cab with her. I took her to her house. I helped her up her stairs to her thing. And I put pillows behind her so she didn't roll on her back. And uh, then I stole three cigarettes out of her pack of cigarettes on the counter. <laughs> Boom! As I was leaving, I was like, oh, "This is good payment." And I took three cigarettes and walked out and locked the door behind me. After you changed all of her clothes? Yeah, I put all of her clothes in a pile and said, <laughs> ew. I just gave her passive-aggressive fashion want, advice. I don't want you to pee in your underwear. We've had an odd amount of helping drunk strangers out just because of the neighborhood we live in. Oh, yeah, you guys are right in there in this village. Yeah. You guys are running across a lot of drunks. We had these two girls. Jay, do you remember this? Or these two girls, and one was helping the other one. They were both drunk, and... They were just kind of helping each other fall all over each other. Yeah. And it was so weird. It was really, it, it's really weird being a sober girl and seeing a drunk girl from the other side because yeah. we walked her to her step and the girl tried to make out with me. Really? And it was like, it's hot. So it's one of those things where it's like you're trying. <laughs> she <laughs> was hot. <laughs> it's where the drunk consent comes into play because I'm like, I this girl was, like, was oh, going was for it. <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't know the ball was going to bounce out. Oh, go, oh, go. Okay, cool. But I was like, okay, let's get you up. Like, the her other girl would have come in to watch for sure. Was she like, you guys are so sweet. Come here, come here. I mean, it was really, she's like, you're pretty. Oh, man. And I, wanna, starts, I was like, oh, my God, I think I've she behaved was trying to like say this heavy. for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you're, how much do you weigh? You're a big girl, you're huh? heavy. <laughs> you're strong. What do you bench? You're sturdy. Hey, what's your name, dude? <laughs> All right. Well, that's not why Thank I'm trying you. to help you. You're such a gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> Christine goes, no, 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 I'm a woman. She goes, fool me. She goes, yeah, you kiss like one. Yeah, mm -hmm. you, you smell like a fucking lumberjack. <laughs> he goes, I'm a man. Whatever, faggot. Yeah. Just kiss me or you're gay. <laughs> I'm not a man. Whatever, you're a fag. <laughs> it is really hilarious, though, right away, because Christine's such the buffer of that. <laughs> Yeah. The, for the girl being so drunk, she yeah. the, when the girl starts like, "You're pretty. I want to kiss you." I was like, "Yeah, Woo! what's up?" Jay's doing the cheer from the side. Oh, yeah. you did. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do you, what floor are you on? I mean, we're on the we're on the bottom floor of this place. It's probably easier stairs, less stairs for you. You probably don't want to do the steps right now in your condition. <laughs> oh, you did. Yeah. Um, I've never had to be helped drunk, but I've helped up when I was younger. Uh, my friend Desiree, she actually went down, her and her friends went clubbing in Atlantic City. That's always dangerous. Um, yeah, it's, I guess. But I went to go to a comedy show with mm -hmm. Rich, that Rich Voss was also on. It was a black comedy show at a dance club that Rich Voss was also on. Really? Yeah. And then after those girls went to the club, where they, they met me back at where we did the comedy show. And, uh... And she, just the one girl, Desiree, drove back. I had a crazy crush. That's actually the same girl. I've told the story that she let me take pictures of her. And then, yes. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. And then yes. I had to throw them out. Yeah. Because I thought the cops would come from me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should have kept them. Uh, I should have kept them. Never yeah, met anything. Should have met anything. You had physical proof. You could hide physical proof. Yeah. Digitally, you're fucked. What an idiot. Yeah, she had you. She let you take pictures. Yeah. Oh, yeah, totally. So it was, it was yours. They were yours to own. I mean, no, I, I, I had a copy. Copies made for myself. Oh, okay. Well, then there you go. Yeah. She goes, no, did you have these things copied? You it go, was a little God. It was a little unscrupulous. I mean, a little genius. Yeah. But a little unscrupulous. Um, Pre-internet genius. But I drove her home, and she was like, it was one of those like, in the car, like, 
you know, her titty'd be hanging out so long that you'd eventually have to... Yo, your tits out! Yeah, yeah, it got past the, like, oh, I'll enjoy this for a while, and got to, like, the, hey, it is funny how it makes you look... That's a real funny... It's a pretty slick move to make yourself look, look like a gentleman. If you see a girl or whatever, like, your panties are hanging out or something like that, or the nips hanging out... Get, get your good looking. I feel yeah. like that's, that's my payment for it. Yeah, like, you do you your get, five Mississippi. You get your good looking and you're like, hey, miss your titty second out. Yeah, you go 1001, 1002, 1003, Rush. 1004, <laughs> 1005. All right, now I'm blitzing. <laughs> Blitz. Put it away. Put it away. But yeah, and, and then they're always like, that guy was so cool. Everybody else would have just stared at my city, but that guy, if you're, if you're the one guy, if I can give any advice out there in the world, if you're the one guy who sees it, if you're seeing it and she doesn't know you're seeing it, look at it. And then tell her to put it away. Tell her He's put hero. her titty away. He's got to write a country You're song. You're gonna look like a hero in the end. <laughs> You're just like saying just country songs about doing decent things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that girl though, uh, Desiree drove back. She was hammered in the car. Yeah, pretty much passing out. And then uh, we lived like in the same development apartment, mm-hmm. apartment complex. Ooh, a real Melrose Place scenario, yeah. huh? Yeah, the fa- the townhouse development my mm-hmm. mom lived in, and um, I like pretty much carried her up to her room and just like put her in her bed and like cover and she was even saying like the hangout I don't think she definitely never wanted to fuck me yeah but she was giving like a hangout sort of like stay and like even like cuddle which at that point would have been like that would have been beat material for the next day oh my god but the the closeness the smell but uh, I was like nah I just covered her up and fucking split you went uh, drunk boy leave the drunk girl home I just heard that song I was like what the fuck are they singing about in country now I don't wanna go to prison tomorrow so, to lay a pile of splooge on your back <laughs> <laughs> it really is always I'm gonna love you forever yeah yeah always, really, in my it's, mind it's always I was that. just noticing that I was like that really is the same tone yeah. I'm gonna love you forever if I can think of another line that will go with the tune hurt it baby baby Bad beauty. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. Um, well, we never something that we never got into that I'm surprised that we didn't get into. Guys, dudes, <laughs> fucking dudes, hot dudes. I mean, we're just talking about hot, hard gay sex. Uh, no, the Black China video, the fappening happened, or did Rob Kardashian release that? Does anyone know what that was? He released just naked pictures of just her. Just naked a while pictures back. of her. Yeah. But then I saw online that everyone was talking about how weak of a blowjob she gives. Well, then, this morning, I noticed that she uh, is dating an 18-year-old that she met on Christian Mingle, who's also a rapper, which is like, mm. Who is Black China? Black China was Rob Kardashian. Oh, Christian Mingle? That doesn't Rob seem Kardashian's right. girlfriend? Baby mama. Baby mama, and had a baby with him, and then, like... The mother of Dream Kardashian. Yeah, and then she was, like, uh... Oh, she's gonna be the least, then, the she, least invited she, Kardashian to all the family events. But then she was, like, shitty, right? Like, Well, she, like, left him. Dude, wasn't she cheating on him? But it was all, like... Yeah, but with yeah. very, like, foul thing, like, like texting, like, oh, this guy's such a hand job. He's just got money. Like, she just It was didn't. very volatile, and it was it very was really, public. It, it was very mean to him, like, behind his back to He's a dudes. fat, rich kid. Yeah, she's, like... Oh, yeah, no, he can't, like, satisfy me with that dumb dick, you know, whatever. It was I heard like, that. The quote is, his dick is whack. The, is that really? what she said? Is that what she, that's her quote? Sure is. If I ever saw a text that said the dick is whack, I'd be like, hey. Oh, my gosh, we had a friend that that kind of happened to. Yeah. Whoa. What um, happened? I don't want to say his name. Okay. <laughs> but, um. Is he a comedian? Someone, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is this someone I know? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow, I can't wait for the commercial break. <laughs> he doesn't, I'll give you a little clue. Yeah. He's not from this country. But he's not from a country far away. I know who you're talking about. <laughs> I immediately know who you're talking about. Uh, came to New York to hang out. <laughs> he's not from India. <laughs> he's not from India. <laughs> but that would be cool. But he was hooking up with a girl, and I guess she went to work, and he found like a notebook or something that had, I guess this girl was like... Dick diary? Ahua. Yeah, dick diary. She had a dick diary, yeah, and full like, on? And uh, he was like, and it said some not nice things about me in there, and I was... I was like, you gotta tell me what it is. You can't say a sentence and like that. Like, she said not so goes, nice things. But he didn't even tell her. He just goes, just like my dick was weird. <laughs> dick was weird? My dick was weird. Oh, oh weird what a weird dick. Is what a an bad awful one. sentence to read about yourself. Where they dick go, he has weird. a weird dick. <laughs> you go, hey, it's not that weird. I mean, how can you? And then you have to sit there and like pace like an angry woman waiting for her to get home, which is fucking great. You go, hey, I am, my dick is not, look at it. Did you see that guy's balls? Yeah, they were weird looking. 
<laughs> this is not weird. This is a good dick. This is a good dick. So this is the Black China Beach. Yeah, right so she's dating an 18-year-old, and that's probably who she has to date. I mean, let's see this. Is he 18 or does he have a name like fucking, it, like, you know, it's like PG flippy w- young boy? Yeah, it's like that. So is he actually it's young though? Yeah, he's eighteen Almighty years. Jay. Almighty J. Almighty J. Oh, so what, it's not one of those. That's what I call. That's what I call J though. What's YBN that's my stand nickname. for? Um, it's it says it in the article. Young Boy Nation. No, something else like Young Buck or like Young. Dude, don't say it, Dan. What's the N for? Oh uh, no, the N word is the N word is the N word. Is it? Yeah. Oh. But it's like Young Buck. N word. And yeah, I don't know what it really? is. Something like that. It's like Young Business. Yeah, that's what it is. I think it's like Young Business. Go ahead. Where is it? It's okay. Uh, you're only no, I know you're trying to get me a solidified audio to get me fired. That's no, totally fine, dude. <laughs> dude, I'm not walking into your trap. I know this trap. For What's the, the thing? No, say We're stands, being recorded. Our voices are being recorded. It stands for, uh, oh, uh, it stands for Young Business. What do you hate, Dan? <laughs> 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 Would you say you're afraid to ride the train home later <laughs> that night? <laughs> I'm getting so it's young. young Business you're always looking over your shoulder for? <laughs> you, know, you said the NBA really took a turn when they were introduced? <laughs> this is what's coming up. I don't <laughs> think that's what? it. <laughs> what? Yo- yellow <laughs> belly great- marmot? No, that's not. That's just something that like people in Colorado would say. Oh, the yellow belly you. marmot, young boy. Oh, dude, that'd be great if it was yellow belly marmot. I want to start calling myself the yellow belly marmot. Why is my name not Almighty J? Why would she date an eighteen year old? How old is she, dude? This was how old is she? That that right there. There's also a video of him getting knocked out. I think this right here. Yeah, TMZ think. catching him with Black China. China, TMZ. I'm like, oh shit, I'm I'm with Black China and fucking TMZ just hops out on it. So I'm like, hey y'all. Uh, Hey, how did I meet by China? Uh, I was searching on Christian Mingo and shit, and I seen her profile pop up. And I'm like, this bitch fire. I just fucked a bitch off Christian Mingo. Sit that hoe back. So I sent her Christian Mingo messages and shit, and she responded to my email. So then we had it, linked up and shit. That page. Christian Mingo. Christian Mingo? Why were any of them on Christian Mingo? Christian Mingo doesn't have a section where you can even describe that. He also looks like he has a little kid fat tongue, like he doesn't know how to talk yet. Like he's like, this is the weirdest thing. She said, I love God and dimple and dimple piercings and fat dicks. She goes, I just want an 18 year old dick. Oh, we missed the part where he says he throws it in raw. Lord, I'm playing. I'm praying right now to the Lord, sweet Lord, for fat dick. Oh, why can't you let me get that fat like, dick? Oh, shit, China. He's a kid. Oh, He's a I'm, child. I'm a black China, and fucking TMZ just hopped out on it. So I'm like, hey, it uh, was, like, really weird. Hey, He's like, I this was... Summer, I this know. summer, I met Black China on Christian I'm, Mingle. I was going to go get some Sour Match Kids, and then I met this lady, and I said, lady, you're a nice lady, and she said, let me see your wiener. And I said, why do you want to see my wiener? And then she put it in her mouth, and it felt good. And then my dad had to pick me up because oh, he had yeah. to be at work at 12 and See I didn't that. have another way home. Hell no. Does don't he have sex with China? Me. Safe sex. I'm raw. I'm, I'm all the way in raw, my nigga. I don't, I don't wear rubbers, my nigga. Who does that shit? Oh, buddy. What? Oh, buddy. Don't fuck a bitch. I wouldn't want to get pregnant, so I don't want to. You know what I'm saying? If China got pregnant, I would keep that shit like, oh, daddy love you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what? This kid is a moron. This kid's a by the way, He's 18. By he's the 18. Way. Well, Black Lou looks like you have a thought. I know. What by a- the way, you could make that video. You could like splice that into one of those like before they come out on Mari Povich videos. Yeah. He goes, Monker. If I get bro. if I get pregnant, I don't care. I'd be like, keep that shit. I'm gonna um, buy y'all it. don't know me. I got two pages. Yeah, and I smoke weed all day. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that little thing at the yeah. end. Yeah. And I smoke weed all day. There's no way I'm missing Mika, my baby mom. She too much of a hoe. You are not. <laughs> This is all bullshit. It's all what's all bullshit that they've had on Christian. This whole Christ- idea of them on Christian Mingle, them whole, yeah. them, and their relationship is bullshit. Is it? She's the biggest con artist out there. Yeah, she is. She really this? wanted to just be a Kardashian so she could live off of that name. Yeah. What the fuck. How do you have an in with the Kardashians? You literally have a Kardashian baby, and you, and you can't it. just keep it. You can't just like ride that wave and. No, she wants more. Mom. Didn't she keep it? She's a business woman. She kept the baby, but like the family wants nothing to do with her. I mean, when women use their ovaries as a fucking business tool, it's brilliant. (laughs) Yeah. It really is some shit where you're like, as a guy, it's our biggest fear. But as a woman, you're like, "Eh, it is a pretty solid business idea. I'm going to be like Sean Kemp. I'm going to be making babies all over the country. (laughs) Call me Johnny Appleseed. (laughs) Christine, you're going to be the most prolific stepmother in all history. (laughs) Yo, you're going to be a den mom. You ready to be a den mom? (laughs) Yo, I'm getting everybody pregnant, and Christine gonna take care of it. But I heard that I heard that she's uh, she gives shitty blowjobs. That's well, what I heard. There's a video. Let's see it. 
Like there's poop on it when do you, you come out? Do you think she's going to... She goes, put some poop on it. Do you think she's going to end up with a $180 million net worth off of this sex tape? No. <laughs> no, no oh my God, no one even cares. It's already out. This, does, this story doesn't even end with me coming watching this video. It really is a lazy beige. Well, I mean, it's one part of it, in fairness to her. I mean, she's sexy. Oh, yeah, I mean, in that, I mean she's cartoonish. Yeah, I she mean, looks... This, no, like, even her movement's sexy. I mean, this isn't... There's not much movement. I think that's the issue. Yeah, she really just lays there and puts it in her mouth. I would be furious after a couple times. Yeah, but it's like, also... The, are you going to do a, anything? It's also... She the really hit. is just like... It's like her licking the top of an ice cream cone. Where's she, the hand movement? But she's laying... It's the part of it where he's she's laying down and he's, like, straddled over her. Yeah. So she's sucking from the bottom. It's like trying bottom. to drink water when you're laying down. You're I like, think su- sucking from the bottom's not going to be... It's not. It's never going to be a great one. Yeah, but still, she really did look like she was trying to drink out of a Poland spring bottle like that. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, she thought it was. A, <laughs> yeah. She thought it was a sport top dick. Yeah, she goes. Oh god, I got it on my chin. It's on my clavicle. <laughs> it's like a. Pa- he's like, no, no. He's like, don't have your mouth sealed up around it. You're sucking it in. <laughs> the sides of your dick start crushing in. <laughs> Ooh. Oh god, you're crushing my urethra. Blow some air into that. Ooh. These are the nudes. Wow. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, her, she's all. She's got a. Car- she has a cartoonish, fucking yeah, she has awesome a, body. Sur- surgically modified body. Oh, hey. Really fucked up to post nudes of your daughter's Wait, mother. Christine, why are you yelling? All right. <sighs> she does have some fucking dinner. Oh, all fucked up. All oh, fucked. Oh, Rob really Kardashian. That is not Armenian law. I know Armenian law. You know what else is whack? All these pics you left behind, <laughs> and now they're gonna be everywhere. Sucking dick on your back like you're drinking water out of a bottle. Hey, man. <laughs> what was that one? She was just giving a handy? No, no, no. Oh, that was I a thought different video? I just didn't have something. I thought it was with her, but it's That was not. the guy jerking off that Christine showed us. Um, so, this... Uh, young dude is just banging her and she's got mileage. Black Blue, you don't think that she's banging him or do you just think the story's bullshit? The story's bullshit. He's a rapper. I I bet you that beat they were playing under his video is his beat. Of course. Mm -hmm. And she's struggling to stay afloat and stay with that lifestyle. Yeah, so she's only getting a couple little bit of payments, you know what I'm saying? She's not getting a lot of money? So she's taking money from this rapper's people. Oh, you think his record company's like Black China date this dude? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Off. You don't think they're actually fucking? No. You think she's just like still banging out whatever dude she's got, and then she's like, I gotta go act like this guy's girlfriend. Every you time. think she's still soft sucking that other guy? <laughs> yeah. Hold on, baby. Just when I'm on my back and I'm holding my hair. Grandma kisses? If you're blowing me and you give more than two just peck on the lip kisses to my dick, I know you're not into it. Look like this. <laughs> Who's that for? Dude, I had an ex-girlfriend that did not like to give blowjobs, and you're like, just please stop it. You're offending both of us. Really? <laughs> yeah, because she'd be like, you're like, bad. What? Like, is this, am I done? And you're like, I, yeah, just stop. Asking for the clinical things that you possibly need? What do you need? Which way should my hand go? Should I, do you want me to- More lift, helmet? Do you want me to grab ball bag? <laughs> hand and mouth? But then what? during sex, you would pull great stuff, like reaching back and grabbing, like holding my balls. You're like, where did you learn this move? This move's great. You have Christian natural Mingle. senses. Yeah, she goes, Christian, Mingle. I slid in. She's like in the field. Yeah. But that girl, when she gave a blowjob. the core. She, I'd be like, you just don't like it? She's like, I just don't like doing it. And you're like, all right. Where'd you learn that move? In the core. I go, in Marine Corps, they taught you that? Yeah, yeah. If you're fucking a dude, grab his balls yeah. softly from behind. Oh, yeah, I was a grunt. Reach, Semper five. Reach, reach in between your legs and grab his ball bag <laughs> softly. She goes, I'm a leatherneck. <laughs> Grab their balls and let God sort them out. If you got a man's cock in you that you care about, you reach on back and grab his ball bag. God bless America. <laughs> God loves Marines because Marines keep men's balls empty keep them with ball. reach behind. <laughs> Give a little tickle. Give a little how you doing. <laughs> yeah, Black China. So you Black Lou's calling bullshit on all this. 100%. I think she's just banging out. Oh, man. Whoever. Rob Kardashian. Rob Kardashian looks like teenage fat Louis J. I mean, <laughs> he really, he looks like a celebrity chef. 
<laughs> There's only that's the only way to say he looks good. Did she really get a baby on board tattoo? It's, no, it's like writing on her belly. Oh my god, that would be great. Goes, I'm so happy. She goes, this thing gets out of me. I'm grabbing a check Jeez. at the bonfire SXM on Twitter. If you want to see the picture of Black China and uh, Rob Kardashian, which she's is like, just, I wish I could queef this motherfucker out now. She goes, mm. I'm like, I mean, she's fourth tier Kardashian side, right? Like. Now? I mean, to have a baby with a Kardashian, to have a baby with the only male Kardashian, so it's the only baby that's going to have that name. Yeah. Like, I, that's a pretty big in with this. Wow, that's right. He may empire. be the most important Kardashian. Yeah, he's got the name on the on the title. Like her Names baby's on the, the only D. one that's actually a Kardashian. Yeah. yeah, everyone else is a West or a Lamar Odom. Wait, no, Lamar Odom didn't get it. Who get yeah. Chloe? No, Tristan Who? Negro Thompson. Tristan Thompson did. Tristan, Not Tristan right. Thompson. <laughs> oh, Tristan. And then I'm so Disick. Sorry. Uh, Courtney's forget, kids are Disicks. Uh, don't forget. <laughs> don't forget James Marcus Tyga. Oh yeah, <laughs> James Marcus. There are conspiracy <laughs> theorists out there that believe that Tyga and China tried to take down the Kardashian family together because they were together. They have a baby together, right? right. They have a baby together, and then yeah, one of them started dating Kylie, and one of them started dating Rob. Right. This is what. Uh, just so you know, Christine knows this because when I walk out the door on Thursdays, um, the E channel goes on, and I come home and it's on both televisions again. She just watches what's going on with the Kardashians. <laughs> She goes, breaking news. <laughs> One of them's upset because their car wash is closed. <laughs> I, I don't have a family. I pretend like they're all my sisters. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I do that on cops and just pretend they're all d- their dads and uncles. <laughs> Time. I mean, that is that's a that is an interesting theory that they split up and we're both like, let's fuck this whole family. But that These, family's so like loyal to each other. Well, you guys are Armenians. They like it, it's like yeah, nice try, guys. <laughs> yeah, you're bound by your arm hair, literally like Velcro. I mean, you're seriously, bound by have you ever tried hair. to pull them apart after a hug? Oh, it is. you got to put a bust. foot on a wall. Yeah, you better, you better butter them fucking forearms up. <laughs> I'll tell you this, someone's losing some. <laughs> you better put some cornstarch on those things. To make sure you guys fucking slide off. Yeah, it's the same thing for pulling apart Armenians as it is from getting your head stuck in a stairwell case. <laughs> it's a lot of butter and fucking effort. Just butter up. You need two people to hold your feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh mother, I love you. Yeah, like this pain. Now, daddy, I love you too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Always remember, we are family first. Shake hands. Wait, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> 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 ah. You're our favorite daughter. High five. Huh? Yeah! <laughs> oh, uh, the gift I asked for you on Christmas. Perfect. Hug me. Oh, no. We are trapped. Hold on. Yeah! <laughs> Go hug your mother. Boy, I'm sorry I sat naked on your couch. Let me please get up. So rude. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> no, I'd love to play that Nerf paddle ball. Oh, it got stuck on me. Hold on. Let me rip it off my chest. Yow. Hang on, frat boy wearing all the gross suit is jumping onto me right now. Gotcha! And now, yeah! <laughs> yeah, that Velcro suit that uh, Sasha Baron Cohen won in Bruno was modeled after Armenian body hair. <laughs> <laughs> do we take our first break or do we keep going? We should just keep. We should just do another five minutes straight. Jacob, here. this is our time. This is our time. <laughs> Is Black China fake butt? Yeah, one thousand percent. Can you find it? Like, like admitted f- me, admittedly, you're saying. I think so. Can you find the pre Nicki Minaj and pre Black China pictures of before uh, yeah. surgery? I don't you're like, understand. I don't, these are some real sixes. I don't understand the butt surgeries. Uh, why? It's, excuse me. <laughs> no, ladies, I'm the old... fucking racist. <laughs> oh. and no, I don't. I really don't like. I think that they it, always look bizarre. Like I've seen, I've argued people before. I go, look, I think breast implants a lot of times look fucked up and weird. And yeah, shit. but there are great ones. There are great. Ava are Adams, fucking, Ava amazing. Adams, the porn star, yeah. unbelievable. There's ones. amazing breast implants. No, she's my favorite fake boobs. But uh, f- I've never seen a fake ass. By the way, I've seen fake asses that like make it so like well, it's so Barbie doll cartoonish. Yeah. What? How fun would it be to fuck? Not I want to see. Because I better be like firm I want to see it. Na- I want to see it naked. Maybe, but I'm just saying. I get like the. I get the overtly sexual lore to it. It's the Jessica Rabbit drawing. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes, yes, yes. I yes, get yes. the visually, like, you're like, yeah. Jesus, that looks fucking awesome. Yeah. I bet it's fun, like, fuck. But I mean, 
it also always looks bizarre. When you're doing something else, when they show Kim Kardashian, like, they're just like us. And it's like, no, she's not. She's going through the mall, and her ass is, like, fucking two feet behind her. It's like bizarre looking. <laughs> yeah, it's... Surgery, though? Look at this. This Brazilian butt lift surgery really is something else. I mean, it's great. It's crazy. It's not it, fake. It's not implants. They take fat from your midline and they put it in your ass and then they lift your ass up. And it's like girls go God. from. I mean, what happened? The, the bottom mean, left. The bottom left is maybe the greatest. Look one. at that right there. It's a crazy, crazy surgery. The thing that I don't understand is what happens years from now and how cellulite, how it affects like cellulite. Growth. <laughs> Man, we are in Christine's wheelhouse talking shit today. Yeah, Christine goes. What do you guys want to know? You guys want to know body modifications? Yeah, I know a guy already up. Like, yeah, guys. I really don't like myself no oh, <laughs> I'm just kidding come on Christine Jay loves you for you you want to put your butt in your tits <laughs> Jay you keeps talking about how awesome stomach. boob jobs look <laughs> but boob jobs are here's no, the thing boob is jobs they are don't, freakish they don't, if they, they, oftentimes they look so like round and apart and they don't look like they the don't apart, settle oh the apart is awful the apart you're like just can it's, well, the thing that it's I like two brothers that won't talk but the problem is it's always done with it's usually done with the <laughs> I don't know if Steven's standing right there I stopped speaking to him in 1996 it's done very often though with the mindset of of like uh, uh, of somebody who's not that stable going I need these things big and then you get those big crazy cantaloupes yeah but good but, tit jobs but, but someone who's got like small tits who get like nice s- small ish tits yeah could look really good yeah the worst thing is when it's just like those can you're, if you're trying to because always girls a lot of times not always obviously but a lot of times I think it's girls who were like Oh man, I fucking hate that I've had like you know s- small titties my whole life. Mm-hmm. Not just like because some of these porn girls had decent titties and they get cartoonishly big titties, but sometimes the little 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 ones also want to go big. It's like no, I want to see it stick out and a mm-hmm. fucking and that looks ridiculous because you're stretching that skin too much. You yeah, know what I mean that's why it looks crazy. Yeah, sometimes they look good and sometimes they're like eh. Yeah, <laughs> that's like, oh. that I understand. You know when you're. <laughs> Lot sided or yeah, oh, yui. Christine, are you showing everybody pictures of your old tits? Oh, that's somebody else. <laughs> um, yeah, there's like, oh, that's good. Like the ones that are, but all these are moderately sized. Those are great. Yeah, yeah, these are all great. Moderate sized fake tits are usually pretty good. It's the one where they get fucking massive. Also because, but pull up Ava Adams. Uh, also with two because, D's in the Adams. But also because Double when D's, you get, get a, it? Oh, we have fun. When you have small tit nipples, yeah, and they get tits, tits get a little bit bigger. It looks weird. It looks, no, I think it looks great. Oh, I think yeah. if you get small tit nipples and you get crazy big tits, it looks ridiculous. But that's she's got fake boobs. And yeah, those are good. She also probably started, like, that's the thing, too. Like, I'm yeah. an A cup. If I went to a D cup, it'd look ridiculous. She probably started at a C and yeah. went to a double D. I think that's I what you It's like you have to stay within two cup I think that's, sizes. That's my range. I like a nice natural C up to a double D for fake boobs. Oh, hi. Welcome back to you, Fake Boobs like. hey. with that's the bonfire. I ooh. <laughs> oh. Nice show. <laughs> Big old C cup titties. I thought this one was your dream body. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, I love massive cans if they're natural. I like big old... You don't like big, big fake ones. Uh, I don't mind them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. You don't I mean, but here's like. the thing. If they're too, if they're too like, uh, you know, like tight and, and like, don't, yeah. like, you need a little movement. But I they're going to be. They're going to be like that usually. Yeah, usually. But they're all tidies. But I'm saying there are ones. But you just keep fucking through them until you find your Cinderella, dude. <laughs> this won't fit. This, I mean, uh, Goldilocks. Too These are too tight. tight. These are too loose. These are These too are fat. These are just right. Brumsky. <laughs> just motorboating. I thought, oh, now we go to break. Now we go to break when we found the second wind, Jacob. You oh, got a new haircut great. and you're acting all. We get so much more to talk about with this. God. Well, I guess we'll come back from break and get into it. Or will we come back tomorrow? I don't know. I don't know how it works. I don't know. We'll be back. Oh, Yikes. butt lifts. Oh, yeah, dude. Black China before and ever. She had a great butt before. But she didn't get a. She got a. The photo we're looking at looks like there has to be implants in that, those, ass, those ass cheeks. Yeah, you can't maybe. just lift that. Oh, Why would you want to sit on an it, implant? It tucks under. Is it weird to sit in an implant? It's got to be weird to sit in an implant. I've heard they pop, and if you look at surgeries where they have popped and the way it sags, and it's so creepy Didn't looking. Remy Ma do like a diss track on Nicki Minaj saying she couldn't sit down for two weeks because she had butt implants? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. wait what do you mean pop? There's not, they're not like breast implants, like silicone. They're like pieces of heart. Oh. 
Oh, they're, my butt, my right butt cheek's leaking. They are. I think, you know they're, I think they're harder. I, I think they're harder pieces of plastic. Yeah, I was looking at like botch surgeries because I love botched honey, <laughs> and I was looking at like oh, botch surgeries. Why from, would you ever get bags put in your ass that can break? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me sit down on bags for the rest of my life. Goes, Ooh, coming in hot. <laughs> oh <laughs> man, it feels like I just a bag of gravy's all going down my yeah. thigh. You're like a human camel crush cigarette. <laughs> yeah. You go. Oh, you guys want a minty? <laughs> 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 Fill it Listerine. Uh, well, let's come back with fake butt talk after the break. I lucky for you. That's what I like. That's what I like. Yeah, it's a bonfire. Crack, crackle, motherfuckers. And now back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. That's the way it is. That is the way it is. That's the way song, song's called Change. That's why I picked it. Oh, because we're talking about butt changes. We're talking about changes in butts. Change I don't know if that was butt. Tupac's message. He goes, I'm going to write a song about butt and Change butts. your booty, bitch. <laughs> it's the Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J Okerson. And this is The Lost Tapes. Motherfucker. <laughs> My jacket always leaves <laughs> Motherfucker My jacket leaves feathers on me when I take it off on my sweatshirt So yeah. I just look like I was just laying on a uh, Like a, an abandoned couch You look great Thanks dude, you want to kiss? Yeah mm. Oh, you're getting a little handsy <laughs> <laughs> I just know there's someone that hates that noise Wait, This is me in your ear now I go mm-hmm. 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 I go mm-hmm. I go I go, I go, I go, stop. It's just, it stop. You know, when I go home, I really want to stay. I got to get my butt implants tomorrow. Okay. Dude, what if I had a juicy ass butt? Oh, fat old duker. <laughs> Did like we it. talk about this already? Did I take the picture of laying on my stomach with the butt up like Nicki Minaj? We talked about that That already. was the old uh, Coco picture, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we were talking about butt implants. Black China, to be specific. Black China had butt implants, and it doesn't really look like they changed outside of, like, she had the surgery, and then it all kind of stays relative. I th- That's some- what women do with, with uh, fake breasts, is they get the really big ones, and then they yeah. just kind of move around in the big. Anyone who gets, like, novelty size or where it's like it becomes such a part of your identity breast implants yeah or ass implants what was Pam Anderson I, like before the breast implants we looked up so many times but great she was great <laughs> I love, it was just your pause and then the look over and you go great so great it was great everything you do it was great but there's something I don't know how seriously and this is this is gonna sound shitty okay but I don't I couldn't see myself having a real deep genuine interesting conversation about the world, anything in it, or lives with somebody who took the time in their life to get cartoonish tits or a big fake ass. Uh, I don't think they So have. this is going to sound weird, but I feel like I could have one of those conversations with someone who had fake tits, not fake butt. No, I'm saying not fake tits. You're being too general. You're meaning large, cartoonish. The person who goes, "I need my tits to speak when they walk, when I walk into a room." Got That's it. what speaks first. I know exactly what you mean. And that doesn't have to mean like has to, I don't want to say cartoonish because I don't want to say obviously when people get those crazy novelty ones is a yeah. different thing. I'm talking about someone who just gets like, you know, we have a an Asian girl we know for a long time who did that. And it's like. It look it doesn't look good necessarily, but it like it yeah. looks ridiculous. Like where you're like, whoa, hey, they're like, yeah, holy shit. Like so your whole, your whole large, thing is tits now. Yeah. yeah, when you walk in the room like large tits, you're like, bah. And I just uh, it's probably shallow again, of me, maybe. As I'll a guy, take that, but I just think like not that I wouldn't want to uh, fuck, hang out with. Not saying you could have a fun time hanging out, but I'm like seeing that person where I need the places in my life where I need a woman up besides sex. Is like, you know, to explain to me how online banking works so we can <laughs> make sure our bills are paid on yeah, time. But you, I mean, I couldn't see that happening. You couldn't. I, I, uh, depends on how cartoonish. If it was like the Jerry Springer size where they're just like hilariously big, no. But if they were like double D's, you know, yeah. Double D's from A's. Picture I mean, that look. Uh, that's tough. That's some tight skin. If you get breast implants to get double D's, you were looking to get cartoonish tits. Yeah, because breast implants. What about regular D's? Because breast implants. I'm trying, like I'm arguing on their side now. I'd say I mean, breast yeah. implants that look the best. C's. C's always. Always C's. I'd go maybe uh, maybe. Do a you low say D. no? Low D. What do you say? B's. Full B. 
Oh, get out of here. An implant for a full bee? What kind of Canadian name? thinking is uh, that? You could probably have someone put their boot in the middle of your chest and tug on your nips and get bees. Yeah, you want bees? I'll give you bees right now, buddy. <laughs> you want to bees uh, you up? Yeah, I'll bees you up. Yo, Jake, you going to get bees up? Grab his nipples, throw a knee in there. Ha! I got bees! Um, I like a full, I mean, he's, C, you're right about C's. I'm a D guy, though. Who are, <laughs> so I like full D. Who are the like well known like modification? But like I said, Nicki Minaj. I always get the Nicki idea. Nicki Minaj. Can you bring up before I want to see? Nicki I want to see Nicki Minaj uh, getting plowed out hardcore on a video would be fantastic. Do you think we, the fake uh, butt because it doesn't ripple like a real butt? Does it all just move I think at they once? Do ripple. Yeah. Look how good that breast implant is. Yeah, the one on the left looks like me. <laughs> the that pre was one. Like, that was you. I go, oh, so she's got some sweet pets. Are these C cup uh, implants, Christine? Is that what you're looking at? Yeah, it's, it's actually all different. I'm trying to go do to it double D. I, I like start going like, go to double D. Like, double those D's are pretty big. Yeah, those are great. Those are good implants. Look at those. Those are great. The those top are, one? Those are fantastic. Oh, the same person. Great. Now, would you call those. Are those C's or B's? I don't know. C's. Those are. Don't call me late for dinner. <laughs> we have fun. We have a lot of fun here. It's you know we're talking about breast augmentation, but we're having fun. Yeah, those are great fake boobs. Yeah, At great. the bonfire SXM, we can't tweet these out. Can we? I actually can't tweet them out because I'm logged into a site. It's realself.com, and you can look at all the before and after. You're logged into a site with your. With long my time login for login? my plastic surgery site, I stare at these you pictures. You find out these women's Instagram handles, and can <laughs> I follow them and see if they're single? Doctor, I don't think <laughs> doctor. so. Hi, Doctor Dan Soder, MTV 2s Guy Court. Uh, just going through your website. Want to say good, steady work. Also, want to know what's up with uh, 13F. Are they around? Are they a real person? Are there, Christine, sensible sized ass implants? Never. Well, I don't know about ass implants, but that surgery I was showing you yesterday, the Brazilian butt lift actually looks it really like, sensible. And It sounds like a, a WWE move. He's got him in the Brazilian butt lift! <laughs> but uh, how about implants? No. Because these aren't breast lifts. These are all implants. Those are sure. implants. I'm looking at... Uh... But it's different because there's also fat transfer breast implants. So basically a Brazilian butt lift is like a fat transfer breast implant. But that's what we're looking at. The implants I have pulled up here. I this is before and after implants. implants. Stop informing me of all the other things in the world that That's exist. That's implants? That girl's an implant? Well, I mean, the one Son on the left looks like a saggy bag of tea. Hey, can you bring up these implants for me? He goes, well, uh, there's the Brazilian bot left. Cool. Uh, no, can I'm, you bring up the implants one? Because I want to see what the implants look like. I'm bummed And then out. they also do ones where they fill in your tits with ass meat. And they do that. And that's the, basically the Brazilian butt lift of the boob jobs. Do you want to see a horse? Do you want to see a horse dressed like a bride? <laughs> yeah. Where Will we you please bring up ass implants? Ah. Uh, uh, dude, some of these before butt pictures are really bumming me out. <laughs> yeah, these are sensible, and these are all implants. So basically what that we're is looking sensible. at is these are flat butts that look way more round after the implants, which obviously it's an implant. Mm -hmm. But look at fine Nicki Minaj. Right, but the Nicki Minaj and those ones aren't girls who had flat asses. Those are girls who just had asses and go, I'm going to become a living, breathing cartoon. This is sometimes, this is one of those subjects where it's almost like, should we have collars in? Because I'd be interested to find out if anybody, like, if a girl, if there's a girl with butt implants that listens to this show because um, it seems like such fake breast seems a little more commonplace of course yeah no well, but i think this is becoming much more common now the kardashians yeah. like stoke stoke this fire but they did the brazilian butt lifts no always christine did did kim kardashian do butt implants or brazilian butt lift i have no idea because they have their surgeries locked down as far as what they've gotten it's actually like not you can kind of tell no, what but, they've got but you don't know their procedures we're saying, like, close your eyes like professor x yeah and, and use your, your armenian her. through your arm hair okay? <laughs> guide into her Sen arm hair sense her christina said there and her arm hair just raises up <laughs> <laughs> she's in she's in right now she, and she goes like this she just got through She's with Kanye. <laughs> I can't. I, there's can't. a memory. There's, there's a memory. Something. There's like a wall between us. I can. Oh no, it's not a wall. It's Reggie Bush's <laughs> cock. It's so big. It just it plowed her out. She was so satisfied. There's a lot of room in here. here, uh, here, here. I'm in. I'm in. Her butt. I'm it's so, in. It's so soft. No, I think they're. I think at least some of them are implants. Well, it, yes, it, they've got to be, or they've probably had you know whatever surgery they did, and then they get the surgeries redone as a new treatment comes available. <laughs> this is great. But only through the Armenian 
Or, Mary, <laughs> can you get into her brain? I'm tracing her life as we speak. Yeah, I am tracing her. <laughs> this is like when they listen to a Karma Cafe when I go up. Is that, that's, go to that picture. You just passed over it. To the right of her, yeah, right there. This one? No. Up. Why? Why? <laughs> Why the fuck? To the right, to the right. <laughs> To the right. There you go. Jacob, I'm going to go take a lap around that's the hallway really, for a second. I don't think that's I'm going to really take a lap her. around while you guys conduct yourself. No, oh, that's not her? I don't think that's really her. That's why I wasn't I wasn't trying to get to that one. Jay, do your breathing exercises. Is that her on the left, Black Lou? Because it's what it is, it's a picture of Nicki Minaj, and then it's a skinny black girl with the same tattoo on her arm, which could be... Do you think that's her? That is her, but I believe somebody photoshopped the butt portion of the younger girl, because it almost looks concave. It looks crazy. Yeah. Did she have a fat butt when she was that young? I'm, I'm wow. Like the before and after is. Gross. Can someone Photoshop all of us with before and after butt? Can we do our befores? <laughs> what? You still mad, buddy? It's okay, dude. I'm just trying hey. to come down. I'm trying to come down a little bit. That's cool. That was crazy. We're only talking about Nicki Minaj's butt. And then we were so pictures of before and after her butt. Why would you go to two different face pictures back to back? I don't. I don't know how else I could have said it. To try to be more polite. I just remember when and I go... People think I'm being mean to Christine, but I, but the mean part is this. is wasting everyone's time by going to face pictures when we're only talking about asses. Uh, when I used it to go, was mind-boggling. When, when I, she said, hold on, hold this on. one... Hold on. When I used to go eat at family diners, uh-huh. like when you eat at a family diner and you watch yeah. like uh-huh. the dad who runs the diner just scream at the mom who's the waitress, <laughs> like, oh, this is like this show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, lucky... uh, I say the tzatziki sauce uh, and you bring a... Uh... I'm so happy these balls or these baseballs in the studio were in are glued in because I'd be zipping them right off her head. <laughs> yeah, the count would be two and oh. <laughs> <laughs> two and oh yeah, right, right in the pike. He goes, hey, that's going to be... Look at that's ridiculous. I mean... That well, because would... I'm actually... Uh, I'm at listening. the bonfire SXM. I get the lack of top ass on that left-hand picture there. Again, yes, at, right, at the Bonfire SXM to show these. But I don't require a whole bunch of top ass. A lot honestly. of top ass is greedy. Yeah, it just doesn't... You know, I think you necessary. just want bottom... You want bottom lip. You want bottom under... You want the butt to come over and to, for the... it to, it to it, You want the butt cheek to come in, you know, on the bottom. Well, not up and under the way you're doing. Yeah, dude, you want a butt cheek. Not up and under. I want a butt that hangs. Yeah, but the butt should hit the... Leg yeah, and but you want to crease down. Under. You want, want it to go. I mean, you don't, under. Yeah, I want a little under. Under? Yeah, dude. I don't know. That sounds flappy. No, not flappy. Firm, fat. Yeah, but what you're describing is flappy. You're flappy. <laughs> Fight me. <laughs> but you see, like in the pictures, like that they have of Nicki Minaj, like, you can find pictures there where it looks like super sexy to have all, but it's like it's ridiculous. Also, like that picture on the end is, it's a great picture. Yeah, but it's like dating a Clydesdale. Right. If you're just like, wow, you're just so... <laughs> Here's your oats. Oh, yeah, girl. Look at you, huh? <laughs> what a pretty girl. <laughs> you wouldn't be sacrificing any ass, leg, or hair quality if you fucked Nicki Minaj or a horse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she is... I, for me, I'm a boobs guy. And her fake boobs are great. <laughs> she has great fake great. boobs. She had big boobs. You're goddamn right, Uncle Gerald. Yeah, she's a... Look at those. those she's a great, cartoon. Those are boobs. Great big boobs. Her boobs look very implanty, and you don't care. I mean, yeah, I'm not, I'm not up to, I'm like, I'm not in the running to date Nicki Minaj. I no, like no, no, of him. course. But I'm saying when you see them, though, you don't go like, ah, they're just so fake and ridiculous. I mean, but that's kind of like her appeal. She's got a big fake butt and big fake tits. Boobs. Sure. Boobs. Yeah. It's like the. It's like, like I the, said. It's I want to. I want to see her naked, and I want to see her doing a bunch of. Uh, yeah. Horrific sex act. sex act. Horrific? Horrific, yeah. She's not paying her taxes. Just being no, no, no. Oh. Horrific sex acts. Oh, yeah. Not paying her taxes while getting fucked in the Ooh, butt. that's fun. <laughs> she goes, I'm going to keep it. Mm. Um, Keeping all of it. Mm. But I, what's the end? Oh, Jesus. Those are some bad asses. What's the end? <laughs> when, now, when you have it's a- funny when you say that when you're looking at pictures of flat asses. You go, that's a bunch of bad asses. <laughs> By the way, the one ass, I would think the left. The be- before ass is better. Right here? No. Mm-hmm. Up. Christine, I'm not giving you any more directions. I'm just going to talk and let the, everyone, the listeners decide when they see the whole picture what I was talking about. Me uh, and you are having what is called a communication breakdown. I was, I was hoping he's <laughs> That was a whole lot of love. Yeah, it was. This is it's all stolen. Who cares? It's all stolen. 
There's one. Le- there's one Zeppelin fan punching the steering wheel. Hey, bro, that wasn't stolen. Those stealing things always. I don't know. Well, they always it play always one song and they go, good. doesn't it sound like this? And you go, uh, yeah. maybe. I can like tell the, you the ones that are exactly alike. The Robin Thicke uh, Blurred Lines one, I was like, is it? Is it the same? What's that one taken from? They, uh, Marvin Gaye Gotta song. give it up. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Is it pretty obvious? Because like the Ice Ice Baby's obvious. I think there was actually Ice Ice like Baby's obvious, but, they, but I thought that was just a sample always. I still think it is. Is this Marvin Gaye? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, they definitely stole it. Oh, then they definitely stole it. I, I take that back. I know that. Yeah, it does. You thought that was Blair Lights? Yeah. yeah. Just, just, close. just, just remember close. the video. That this is the music video where Emily Rajakowski Rajakowski got naked. Yeah. And I was like, I watched this video. Topless. Topless. <laughs> wow. To me, Vanilla Dan that's naked. Oh, okay. It's Vanilla Dan naked. In life, too? Sure. Oh my god! You're naked. I'm sorry. He goes. Do you know how many holes I've punched in girls' panties? Because yeah. I just assumed that was done. Naked. I've given so many women toxic shock syndrome for fucking their panties into their pussy. You think every girl? <laughs> you think every girl you fuck okay. is a? That's not true, Black you, you think every girl you fuck is a virgin because you have to break through? Yeah. I, just, I just broke through your hymen. She goes. You just ripped through my underwear. How tough is, is your you dick? I go. I know it's pretty good, right? A honka honka, a wacka wacka. She is stupid hot at the bonfire SXM on yeah. Twitter. We'll tweet a little bit there. of a flat butt, Dan. Okay, shut what up. What are you do about that? Nothing. She's got great big boobs. Boobs. <laughs> I can't say boobs without thinking of Gerald's boobs. But she's a naturally fucking smoking hot chick. Oh, no. She's like, she's crazy. I think she's in Amy's new movie. Yowzers. She is. Boobs. She's in Amy's new movie. She's in the scene they show you, though. Oh, yeah, where Amy's like, what's it? She's like, like, I hate you so much. You're a stupid, ugly bitch. I don't think that's the dialogue, but... No, it's that girl saying, like... Oh, wowzers. It's the, you know, the, it's the I eat whatever I want and nothing ever happens to me. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that girl's just, like, crazy hot. Yeah, does she ever show her puss? I'm trying to find it. Uh, well, and buckle girls, up, everybody. All the girls in these videos. Uh, get ready for some face shots. He goes, here's her forehead. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you want to know if we got her eyebrow pierced? What? Here's yeah. some hedges outside of her house. That's Bush. <laughs> oh, here's Gavin Rosdale. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone, once again, a horse wearing a full prize dress. <laughs> Hey, I'm a fan always. What a more. cool picture to send someone. I've never gotten a puss shot like this, and I just want to say... Good for you, Emily Roger Joukowsky. Is she jerking off a dick or something in the front? What is that? I think it's just her hand in the sunlight. Oh, it's weird looking. Hi. Hey. I mean, you're always going to want natural. <laughs> if you can go for natural she is beauty over all that so fucking... so hot. My it's go-to warm. is nice lady. Yeah, True. good call, Doug. It's true. She I agree. She's a nice lady. Yo. She was in Gone Girl, too. She's yeah, hot she that. was Ben Affleck's side piece. Yeah, she's hot for sure. But like a good natural thing. I said me and uh, Christine at that Sixers-Nets game on Sunday night. Yeah. The girl who's like the in-house, the in-house microphone Announcer? lady. Yeah, yeah MC. MC, yeah. She's not like the in-house. She's not like saying like, you know, Joel Embiid for two points. <laughs> Joel Embiid. Is this a smoking hot girl, yeah, that voice? Yeah. Joel oh. Embiid for two. Lopez with the rebound. <laughs> Pushing it back up. Sixer is going to get it out. No, she's like, hey, I'm sitting here with the kids from Scout Troop, blah, blah, blah. Are you guys excited for the game? Like on the big screen? Yeah. During timeouts and shit. Those are always the hottest girls, man. You know I've never are? seen that job before. Yeah, those jobs are smoking hot girls that um, in like five years will be on a major network, uh, like Sideline Reporter. That's where like Sideline Reporters start. Really? Yeah, working with like sports teams. Getting in with sports teams as like the Sideline Girl or like, hey, what's going on? We're going to throw it down to our bat. You know, she's like, hey, guys, I'm here with so-and-so. That's how they start. And they then get you- rough. Too. But if they hang in there too long, it gets rough. The, the Sixers, I know. Particularly the Sixers ones. Yeah. D line them and shit. Hey, like, yeah, they go, I don't know, Sixers is up. Get the fuck out of here. Them, you know, like D line was like the hot, you know, 20 years ago, was like the hot chick on the floor with the Sixers talking to Iverson. And we got to move. And then she's now, still there? No now, no, now she's like in studio, back at the studio, but like. We're doing it's, weather? It's like a, no, no, no. It's like, uh, it's all just for Comcast or whatever. Oh, okay. yeah, Xfinity, whatever it is, you know. So she, it's just the Sixers. Yeah, she's like, but now she's like back in the studio. Like, yeah. not, they have a, they have a, a brunette chick who's like, she's all right. Well, let's go to they, have, they, 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 that chick's kind of York, whatevs. Uh, Allie Love is the name of the in arena host for the Brooklyn Nets. In arena host, that's a good name. In arena it. host, and she is uh, gorgeous. She really is hot. Black and Asian? What's the mix? I don't know, but the last night we were at, all the way on the left, 
top. Boom. Where did Christine go? Very crazy very... heels unnecessarily. But that's awesome. Yeah. Negro. Going for Whoa. it. Hey, Doug. Whoa. Negro. Yeah. All right. Definitely a Negro. All right, bud. Well, now, yeah. Black Lou. Yeah. This is a black woman. Where do you chime in on this? I see some of the other pictures. They look nice, but this photo in general, I don't, I'm not feeling it. Okay. And I'll tell you why. If I put my hand over her hair, mm -hmm. you would think that was a dude. Oh, Avatar face. Ah, uh, he's got a point. Like a, like a Chinese dude. So um, she's black and Asian. Maybe. I have no idea. I don't know anything about her other than I thought she was beautiful. She is beautiful. And, and granted, she looked really good that night. That is not a particularly good picture, I agree with you. But it's also not a bad one. But she's hot, for sure. Well, you know what? I'll tell you what this. There you go. Uh, you know what? I think I like her ass. I think I like her body. I'll tell you this. I uh, Her posts... Uh, the captions are really bugging me. Are they really? What do they it's say? So, just Brooklyn boss. When you come, come now, correct. she's pretty. She's definitely Hashtag pretty. love squad. Hashtag Costa photo. Hashtag rep BK. Yeah, there's just something about, man, social media. She's a hot chick. Social, social media. Black Lou's turned on. He hates her now. <laughs> well, really love black chicks. How do you feel about it, Lou? Uh, I don't know. You're like, well, I'm a flat out racist. <laughs> <laughs> Lou looks at it and goes, well, uh, I'm more into clean or not clean. Go she down, Christine. Clean. Go to the Sixers one. I want to see the one that was in the studio. Do they have an in-house? No, no, but I want to see the girl that you were talking about that used to interview. Oh, I want to see young d line him. I think it's D-E-I. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Growing <laughs> up. <laughs> Growing up watching AI. Yeah, I'm just getting older. <laughs> yeah. And my puss is still good. Me, I'm getting older. Oh, man. Is she a cheerleader? Uh, oh yo! No, 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 that's, wow! No, she wasn't. She wasn't a cheerleader last week, and then turned into this. Part of the job of being a hot girl in sports is you're a hot girl, which is a limited time offer. Shit runs out. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. So it's like you got to move if you're going to be that. If you're going to be the hot girl that's interviewing athletes, you got to fucking put some gas in it and get up the get up the ladder. It's not even long ago enough. I mean, if you catch her like in the late nineties or something, she was a. Uh, it's like a pretty sideline reporter. Now they keep her in there. It's like, you know, what's her name? What's the one who played Mrs. Robinson? Hey, everybody. Hey, Kathleen hey. Turner. Oh, hey. Now she looks like old, fat Kathleen Turner. She goes, interesting story. Six is one. A young Tim Perry. He was a rookie at the time. I had him to myself. <laughs> I made it with him for two straight hours. He came to my apartment. The soreness that I felt. A gabagoosh. <laughs> <laughs> he banged on my boards. He had a triple double. <laughs> and then put one in the, th in the four point hole. If you he really stuffed the rock into the hole, if you know what I'm saying. I think you hey, do a bababoosh. Hey, bababoosh. <laughs> Gotta bang. What can I say? He rock and jocked me. He took a four point shot. Do you remember they had those? Yeah, we had a lot of fun. There was a lot of blow. <laughs> he self ooped right into my poop shoot. Yeah. <laughs> I remember he slapped the wall and then slapped me. I've never came harder. Gabalagoo. <laughs> uh, there was no reason for those afterwards. Nothing. Shim shalabim. All right. <laughs> Waka flocka. Um, that's a guy. I agree with Lou now. I do see. She looks like a young B.D. Wong. <laughs> That's a great reference. It's a great drop. Thank you. She looks like a young B.D. Wong. It's fantastic. Go to B.D. Wong. You don't know who B.D. Wong is? No. He's an Asian guy who was uh, on SVU forever. Is like the, <laughs> He was as their... Uh, you know what it is now? Black Lou? I don't know. He was on is. Oz. <laughs> Oh, wait, was he the doctor on Oz? Yes. Oh, that's so the goddamn funny. I know exactly. That's so fucking funny. Yeah, okay. That's great. Yeah. Uh, B.D. Wong. <laughs> young B.D. Wong. <laughs> she looks like a young B.D. Wong. It's just a great sentence. Um, I mean, yeah, if you're going to be a sideline reporter, you know, you're you're a hot lady. Yeah, you got to hang in there. d is not. Who, who's the in-house one for the Sixers now? That's where we got to find her name. But she's got a little bit of a... Uh... Should we see who has the, who's the hottest in-house arena announcer for the NBA? Because we'll put the Nuggets on the line. Oh, It's yeah. probably some dude dressed up as a prospector. Denver has some really beautiful chicks, man. Yeah, naturally. You know why? They're all moving there. That's right, ladies of Denver that are originally from there. You fucking hunks of dumb trash. <laughs> you fucking... You mountain trucks. You sloppy... Pig sluts out there. With <laughs> no, the, no, what, they're. Is that, uh, that what you said? Yeah. What I like about it, what's similar about Denver is it's similar to Vancouver. 
it's like a lot of naturally beautiful women. Yeah. Where you're like, oh, you don't wear makeup and you're fucking smoking hot. Yeah. There was really, there was a lot of beautiful chicks out there this weekend. Yeah. It's sure. great. And now, uh, all my friends that grew up there still, they saw, they call it member because all these guys are moving there. And like for single women, if you want to get a tall dude who's outdoorsy, go to Denver. Is there a world like Christine grew up in a world where probably implants and all that kind of, uh, you know, surgical modification in your body was like a regular thing? No, I grew up in a neighborhood was that, that, was, that was there wasn't. There's was no money for that where I grew up. Yeah, I went fake. To- I went to beauty school with three girls when I was 18 years old. They were 18 as well. Their fathers all got them boob jobs for their high school graduation. Yeah. Weird. And they were like double D boob yeah. jobs. Like these girls all showed up goes, with a brand new titties. Girls, the only condition, I get to keep the old ones. I'm yeah. just kidding. Do they give them to you? If they okay. give them to you, I'll take it. Anyways, can I watch? I want to watch the unre- unveiling process. I mean, I paid for it. I deserve at least a little piece. Oh, come on. I paid for those boobs. How, that's something you never want your dad to say when he's trying to come in the bathroom and you're out of the shower? I made oh, the old ones. Angela, stop it. I paid for those boobs. <laughs> Anyways, who's this gentleman in here? But you can say with any part of their body, come mm-hmm. on now. I made that butthole. Spread yeah. it open. No, that puss was your mo- in your mom's first. I oh, turned yeah. tucking you with my dick. You got your mom's left la- labia minoris. Weird. Do you get? Do you come if a, if your clit stimulated and your hair is pulled? Like Just mother, like, like your mother. Oh, it's a dude for the Denver Nuggets. I called it. There's a dude yeah. for the Philly too. Yeah, Philly. Joshua Soden. Well. I mean, we're getting real close. Getting real close to the, that's like me if I grew up. If Gary stuck around. Hey, I'm jo- I'm Dan Soder. We're coming up. We're gonna check in with Paul Millsap. His name's so close to yours. I know. Soden, go into his bio. Josh hails from a small town, uh, Donovan, Nebraska, population eight hundred. Right. Where he grew up playing basketball, football, and baseball. Upon attending college, he co-founded and sang in a touring band that oh, traveled boy. all over the U.S. with stops at Chicago's House of Blues Ooh. and performances on Van Warp's tour. What oh. band was he in? I don't now know. you got to find that out. He's lead Colorado Fitnesses on the Rocks workouts from the amphitheater stage for the last. Oh, so he does the Red Rocks. He's lead Colorado fitness. He's led. I'm so fucking stupid. He's led Colorado's fitness on the rocks workout from the amphitheater stage for the last two years and is pushing his physical limits. Oh, that's great. It excites him. I would never say that in a bio. Oh, my God. Pushing his physical. Can we say that about Jacob? Pushing his physical limits excites him. Yeah, this all. How about the follow? <laughs> follow one more down. In Josh's free time, he can't get enough of his wife and their two rescue dogs sing writing with his guitar. And motivationally speaking, with the intentions of brightening up the world. Fuck this guy. Oh, dude. Dude, this guy sucks. I mean, Happy Dan is not someone we're a fan of. You don't want to hang out with this guy. Well, I mean, you know. And DJ Lou wants to screen change. He's so angry looking at this asshole. I don't know, guys. Pushing my physical limits does excite me. He can't get enough of his wife. and two, You can't get enough of your wife? Or your two rest? Really? You can't get enough. It's impossible. Yeah. There's no amount of time is too much time with those people? You can. I yeah. guarantee. You got damn right you can. I've never met your wife. Give me an hour. I'll have oh too much time. God. I'll be like 45 minutes to make this bitch away from me. It goes, and then when, I, when I've reached my time limit, I put her to sleep with a headbutt to the face. He goes, you know what's fun is I call it the snooze alarm. <laughs> when she upsets me, Krav Maga. Flip over the hip, put her to sleep. <laughs> Krav Maga. I give her a nice uh, rear naked choke, and then our rescue dogs, I take them for a walk. Who's the Sixers one? The, the Sixers one, it's a guy, Christian Crosby. What about the band that, that Jerkoff was in? That's what I'm looking for, too, and it might be Every Time I Die. What? Every Time You Die? Every Time I Die, and then somewhere in there, it's Every Time I Die, and then he stopped and goes, Guys, sorry, got a sweet gig being the Nugs announcer. Yeah, he goes, Ooh, guys, I love chasing this art, but what I love even more is going... Coming back, we're going to have some Domino's giveaways. Your hometown hero tonight, Lieutenant Colonel. He served in Afghanistan in 2004. (laughs) Also, hold on, guys. My wife's calling. I can't get enough of her. Some would say I'm addicted to my wife. What's that? Our two rescue dogs have chewed up a child in the neighborhood? (laughs) I mean, good for this guy, man. He's got a job. He's getting his eyebrows waxed. You want to hear his band? What? What is it? Every time I die? I, I think so. I'm, I'm still. Do, you, do so. you have it in the system? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've heard of the band before. That guy? Me and Black Lou just had the exact same reaction. He's got to be all tatted up under the sweater. And he leads fitness on the rocks, which means he could fuck our shit up. 
He's like, guys, that was good. I think we got it. I don't think we need to run through it anymore. He goes, plus, I have to go buy some sweaters. No. Oh, guys, hold on. I need some uh, I need some button-down under sweater combos and also the Jazz tip-off against the Nuggets <laughs> at 7. I got to be there. No, actually, I think it's Eyes Catch Fire. <laughs> it says uh, Joshua Jets Soden. Ew. Can I be Dan Jet Soder? Yes. Can I be can I be Dan 747 Soder? Oh if he's God. Jet, what do I get to be? Airliner? What can I be? Can I be Dan Cessna? Dan Cessna so, Soder? Make like, the picture better. Like, like, Cessna. Yeah, can I be Cessna? Can that be my plane nickname? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Terrible. it's Dan. I'm going to be Jay Swamp Plane Okerson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that. Uh, I, like, I like Dan Cessna Soder. Find a better picture of the band with him in it. <laughs> Eyes catch fire hail from Lincoln, Omaha. Mm, that's 311 territory. Fists in your face blend of poppy screamo vocals and catchy lyrics. Finishes the fight with melodic driving guitarists that could have uh, hook. That could hook jaws. How do you f- a fist in your face blend of poppy? Sc- I mean, like. A fist in Hold your on, face go down blend. a little bit. Go down a little bit on this a one. A fist in your face. You blend. will either fall in love with or be blown away by a live performance that looks you in the eye and screams passion and heart with every song. Dude, band bios are so much worse than comedian bios, and comic bios are pretty rough. Well, they're so bad. They're real rough. I but don't even, I don't even know if this is the band. You really can't find anything about this guy's music career. Well, I mean... This is the only thing that's coming up. The Josh, pictures are all like... Josh the Jet? Josh the Jet? Well, that's because he's flying right over you. Josh Jet so. Yeah, I don't you, know. Why you're don't not you catch just... him. You can't, you can't make radar I can find this guy. <laughs> yeah, this guy's stealth. Here he is. Coming Paul Millsap to the radar! He goes... Well, transition We've been missing Camelo Anthony for some years! Choking on the rebound! Okay. <laughs> Gary Murray hitting a three in a one no. I want to know what Will Barnett is up to. Do they sell Rocky Oyster Mount, Mountain Oysters in the stadium? Yo kick John the Block and he dishes outside and Will Barton's hitting the three. And the Nuggets win. Nay, nay, fuck my girl. I miss Kenyon Martin. I miss Kenyon Martin. He was great. Older Marcus can be. The Nilo Gallinari is my cousin. <laughs> Ak- Mahmoud Abdul Rauf. <laughs> We're making a playoff run. See you, Blazers! Seven game series! In ninth place, we're trying to get eighth place. (laughs) We'll take on the Rockets in the first round. Hey, everyone in the stadium, I'd like you to meet my friend Brandon. He's from Camp Kakawaki, Bump 283. These are my two. I can't get enough of my wife. I love her so much. We never fight. It's like we're right in line with each other's likes. And I think and she speaks. <laughs> she finishes my sentences <laughs> every time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's take another break, and then we'll come right back. <laughs> oh, God. We got to keep finding these arena hosts. The arena host side job's great. Again, this guy would just beat the tar out of me. But... No, you can take him, dude. Wow! <laughs> and the Nuggets got three and a foul. That's a four point play. <laughs> Never jump at the active shooter. <laughs> You'll get a charge. <laughs> Draw the flag. Hands up, feet on the ground. Pistols. Keep your body flat. Pistols, pistols, pistols. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll be right back. It's the bonfire. Still going to look at some butts, though. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. 
doesn't get better. It's a good song, and Jay doesn't like it. It does not get better the more I hear it. It's good. It's Cranberries on the Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big Jay Okerson, and this is The Lost Tape. Stream. Tonight through Saturday, you can see Big J at Comedy Works in downtown Denver. One of the best clubs in the country and one of the best cities in the country. Let's, ho- let's hope I'm everyone. there. Oh, let's yeah. hope I'm there currently. Let's hope we're there. And let's hope I'm in... Uh, you can see Jay tonight through Saturday in Denver at the Comedy Works with Kurt Metzger. Go to BigJComedy.com for tickets. Um, and Dan Soder is going to be at Zany's Nashville Thursday, March 8th through Saturday, March 11th. After if, that, if I can get there. Weather permitted. Uh, after that, you can catch him at Helium in Buffalo, New York, Thursday, April 5th through Saturday, April 7th. Get tickets for that and all Dan shows at dansoder.com. Uh, well, I feel silly because I thought we were just going to do this weekend. And I didn't say you're going to be at Zany's April 6th and 7th. It's okay. But if they go to bigjcomedy.com, you can find that off. No, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, I just feel like. Um, we're talking dreams today. Has anybody, I've never, I always had the legend of the wet dream, never ever had one. Uh, I've never, ever even, <sighs> yeah, I did. I had one wet dream in high school. When Friends was big, I had a wet dream that I had sex with Jennifer Aniston. You woke up in a puddle of spooge. Not in a puddle of spooge, but my, there was spooge coming out my dick on really? my th- on my thigh. You were so you woke up with like a ugh ugh ugh. It was, I was having she, yeah. I remember she, really yeah, dude. Is there a thing? Maybe so, I was dry up in my bed in my sleep. I don't I've know, but I had cum coming out of my dick. I've definitely woke up with a rager and gone for it right away. Uh, why, did, why did you not hit it? Yeah, oh, I'm going to bone up right now. I want to jump around that fountain. Still give it to January. <laughs> Sometimes I wake up and you're just fucking eye to pecker with your big hard hog. and yeah. It's a cold oh. damn night. You got you to gotta give them the love change gears up it's if okay. we're going to go emotional. I, I've rushed it. Um, that's no one's fault but my own. Uh, no, I definitely have woke up and masturbated. I've never... Woken up and masturbating is great because it's almost like scratching an itch. You just like wake right up right away. Like, ah! Sometimes you, w- you wake up with the best one you've ever had. Yeah. Do, do women wake up masturbating, Christine? I've never woken up masturbating. I, no, no, no. Not woken up masturbating. Woken up and your first thing was like, well, time to rip one out immediately. Yeah. 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 That's just a human thing. Because the because dr- of a dream got you there? Yeah, or you just kind of wake up feeling it. Yeah, I mean, a dream, though. Could be like the night before. A dream can really push you there where you're like, ah, oh, man, I was about to fuck her. Ah, I just got jerk off to it. I don't feel like I've had a lot of, like, sex dreams, though. I don't think I've had a Is there time. something you can do to increase sex dreams? Is there, like, a tiger bone? You know how to have, like, tiger pills or, like... My, is anybody able to harness the energy that it would be? Because a wet dream has to be... If you're actually shooting at the end of it... Yeah, or dribbling in my case. Sure. Well, look, it's the amount of, the amount of pineapple you eat. I, uh, is that... You is just there, see me wolfing pineapple is there any, now? Is there any video possible? Is somebody able to, like, hands-free can Look cum? up hands-free cum. Because that's like... That, don't do a woman. You got to do a guy, unfortunately, because yeah. you can't... There's no way to prove it. A woman could just a say A woman could go like this. I just did it. Yeah. Now... I did it. Now again... <laughs> I think these people about to walk into the studio have no idea what they're going to sit next to for the next two hours. <laughs> what this looks like? like a college radio station coming in. And they're like, we're going to play the coolest hey, you guys, alt rock. This is Wilco with, this their, is with their newest hit. See if you can, yeah, it's I always Wilco. Like Wilco's been a college band for 35 years. I don't know anything about Wilco. Saw them today on TV on Austin City Limits. Yeah. And man, they're old, huh? They've been yeah. around for a while. Been around for a good while. I don't. From uh, Chicago. Jeff Tweed, right? Am I right, Lou? Do you I love him, Lou? Nah, I don't care about Wilco. Whoa! I'm so angry. Aren't they in the Eddie, Pearl Jam Eddie Vedder family? Is that because Wilco's not good enough to play the in memoriam at the Oxers? Oh. Uh, yeah. I don't think Sorry it that you did. Yeah. I can't yeah. believe you did. You were in that movie that I liked. Oh, I remember Jerry Lewis as a young man. <laughs> Say goodbye to actors Boy, I'm gonna miss you, Martin Landau <laughs> <laughs> You guys wanna hear a song? <laughs> Freezy, arrested Celebrity 
is oh, dying. Martin <laughs> Landau <laughs> is dead. <laughs> Landau <laughs> sleeping on the ground because he's living with all the worms now. He's worm food. <laughs> he's worm food. He's worm food. <laughs> <you> find- <laughs> this is so weird. Uh, yeah. What, that picture just pussy lips? No, so it's this guy and you can see as the video goes on. Yeah, like, okay. His dick keeps getting like bigger and bigger. Okay. Mm-hmm. And he has hey, this just looks like Blue Planet, huh, Jacob? <laughs> <laughs> the sea cucumber knows it's time to do his job. And over for six long minutes, it feasts. Is it time lapse photography? I don't know. He's like squeezing. No, his it's in real time. The video is eight minutes. That's why I'm kind of skipping through yeah. it. A little Uncircumcised bit. dicks are so yuck. I mean, it's so. And then it's like right about here. No, he pops. Yeah, really? it's like a little. It's like a dribbly pop. He looks like a pop. dog. It looks like a dog dick. Christy, is this in your fan favorites or something? Why do you know this one's <laughs> so inside and out? She goes, "Who do you guys want to see, Miguel or do you want to see Antoine?" Pop? <laughs> Most of the hands free coming are like. Wait, hold on, is he gonna do it? He gonna do it? <laughs> Not yet. He gonna do it. It couldn't happen yet. I feel like there's too much Get time video left. Yeah, what's, what's he the saying? Rest? Did, did you show your hands free cleanup? Oh. Pause it, Christine, and get rid of all that other audio so we could hear this guy. <laughs> get it going, get it, get it, get it going, and huh? get it going, and it going, get it going. Uh-huh. I mean, how do you hands free come? He's like <laughs> Tina from ninth grade. Uh, Tina from ninth grade. A uh, girl at CVS. Girl at CVS. Now I'm in a car. Is there audio? He's just like contracting his pelvic floor. <gasps> Is that him going? <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Look, you see. Uh, oh! oh! Wow! You guys missed the first little squirt. No, I didn't. I saw a squirt. Good up. for him. Yeah. You want? Oh. There it is. Oh. Hey, Mazel tov. That's so weird. Most hands-free coming gives you this. <laughs> that is also hands-free, I guess, I technically. Mean, yeah, was there But isn't that a medical so situation? Oh, if you milk the prostate. Oh God, it's great to see. These it people. doesn't. It does not look very medical. Is there a better? Is there a better one that starts at more from another time where if you dildo your own asshole, you'll just come? Is that possible? Yeah. What? Is that possible? Do we try to make that happen? <laughs> Jacob, stop looking away. Is that guy in heels? Yeah. Yeah, they're all they're all trans. wearing they're all wearing heels, Dan. And I'll tell you what, that's the eighth weirdest thing about him. Oh, look at that. Send it. Yeah, send it. Oh, that one fired more. Is that really a thing? So you got <laughs> Dan, if you heard it was the greatest experience, the greatest cum you'll ever have, would you... I've had a prostate exam and I didn't enjoy it at all. Me either, but let's say it wasn't that bulky male, and instead... It wasn't. It was a... It super was a, smoking hot chick? No, but it was an Eastern European woman with no bedside manner. Oh, man. <laughs> she stuck her finger in my ass and she goes, if it hurts, go to proctologist. Yeah. <laughs> right away. And I was like, I don't know if it hurt. You were yeah. quick. You're like, it hurt. It, was it a lot definitely of hurt. Emotionally? Oh, boy. This um, is... Yeah, it's amazing. You just come from that. Hmm. Isn't that, isn't that a fun trick? Now, isn't here's that, the thing. Isn't I, that a fun life hack? I'll tell you what, though. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though. It's a cheat code. It's a real cheat code if you jerk off while you're getting a dildo in the ass, as this young man lady's doing. Oh. That's more what I'm talking about. Welcome to coming out your dick. Oh. Wow, you know what's hilarious? Almost like it's a button. Every time the dildo goes in this uh, tranny's butt, the dick raises up. It like reacts directly to the <laughs> to the dildo. It's like we're all filled with strings that pull the same thing. <laughs> uh yes. Uh, there are life, strings. Uh yes. Life finds all right, whether you if you don't have hands, life still has to find a way. Um good for these people. So you've never we're good. No, not at all. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm good. <laughs> like, no, I, totally I know it's fun, like, and then after like five minutes, you're like, I don't want to watch people just keep getting rammed in the ass and coming. Christine, if we get super bored, maybe you can dildo my ass until I come hands free. But I'll tell you what, if I don't come, it's going to be a weird st- stoppage. What are you going to yelp all those videos? <laughs> it's a weird, it's a weird stoppage. After a while, it's like it's like 15 minutes. So you go, it, it just ain't going to happen. 
<laughs> yeah. It's like you're trying to you light- tell somebody to take it. When that's referring to taking a dildo out of your ass, like, you know what, Christine? I, lo- I love you to pieces, but it's just, I don't know if it's your method, if it's the way I'm accepting it, it's not going to happen. You give up by trying to light wet fireworks? You go, this is, isn't going to go. It's- we got no. And you go, she goes, Jay, a couple more. Yeah. I mean, at this point, you're just wailing on a guy who's unconscious yeah. down there. There's girls that are into that, but I can't. I don't know. I like don't see the sexiness in a as a girl putting on a strap on and fucking a guy in the back. Pegging? A girl told me a story in Chicago this weekend of Did she have a North Chicago accent talking of, about pegging a guy in his ass? No, of a girl who uh works with her. You got to meet my friend Patricia. Who has a guy who works with them? Yeah. That she dated. Okay. Her friend dated the guy. Yeah. And the guy was super into like he carried around a bag of dildos. She what? said because he loved to get like rammed up his ass. Whoa! And then, if I did like that, I think I would wiggle my butt a lot. More. <laughs> <laughs> Works with the girl, Dan. Like this, Ooh, like an excited dog. Oh boy! <laughs> All three of them work together. I only like frontal play. <laughs> <laughs> All three of them work together, and he like dirtbag turns. No, and was like, yeah, it's like well, there was like a shitty breakup. I don't know if he started seeing whatever it was. Start getting he said, it was, it was, it was an ugly breakup, but I'm like, man, to have an ugly ugly breakup with the girl you bring into your world of I also love you to ram dildos up my ass, like she's gonna tell people. I mean, man. that's like the mall. Got back to me, yeah, and, and, <laughs> and I'm not, in the, I'm not in the machine. Funny thing about the guy now in the break room, we put a dildo in the refrigerator with his name on it. <laughs> it's our way of teasing him. I mean, yeah, if you do some shit like that, and you you can't go out and be a dickhead. You people, can't be a dick unless you're people like. People have too much. They, they have all this like info on you. Just, unless you're ready to be like, I like a dildo. What if he ass, just lives man. it though? What if what if that's you what can. she didn't explain? And she's like, almost anything people could hang he on. Cracks, you. He cracks jokes in quarterly meetings. He's like, oh, sorry, my butthole wasn't really touched since I was in college. <laughs> you guys get it. Hey, it's Pegasaurus Rex. What's going on? You can tell by my spiny back leading down to a nice gaper. Yeah, you guys mind? Anybody mind if I uh, sit on my donut during this meeting? I took a real boofoo in last night. Kick it! Yeah! Uh, uh, I ain't scared oh. of you. You don't understand, goddamn. That's got to be a thing where. I wonder if you got to be the coolest guy. Or if, what, saying, do you think when he breaks up with her, when he's like, so I just, you know, I don't think it's going to work out? Also. You're cool, right? About the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, you're, like, thing. you're you're not gonna like tell everyone that work. You already told everybody. Ah, yeah, I kind of figured that. <laughs> Even when you oh. weren't mad at me, you told everybody. Of course, oh, yes, yeah. of course. I did present you with a pretty odd yeah. thing, but I'm saying anything you own. I mean, isn't Jim Norton like living, breathing example of that? Anything you own, yeah, you can't really hurt that you. people will hang on you. Like, first of all, no one cares a fucking you know news cycle later. Yeah. And fucking it moves. It's so weird. Anything. It's funny uh, to me how many like m- like masculine, like, you know, tow t- truck drivery dudes come up to me and they're like, fucking yeah, Norton with those trannies, right? And say something like that. And you're just like, it doesn't bother. They're not, not fans because of it or anything. Yeah. It doesn't change anything. Yeah. Get tugged <laughs> off. But I mean, yeah, if you own it, most of the time it's the people that don't own it that end up getting trampled by it. We end up stuck on the I, 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 I mean, that wiener guy. Yeah, I mean that guy. Yeesh. He There's tried no... to own it. The problem was it was deeper than that. Yeah, you, you have to own. To... You have to own the deepest level of it, yeah. and it can't be anything involving children. Yep. If you get something where it's like crazy amoral with not two consenting people, don't own anything. Yeah. Lie the rest of your life. Lie, yeah. Bury it deep down. Murder those. Because who there don't. really is no. How do you get out of that? You can't own like. Oh come on, she's fifteen. <laughs> like you can't own that. I feel like there's got to be some sort of movement. And I'll, I'll research this a little bit of you know whether it's like pedophiles saying that they were born that way and they think that it's right and that oh, people shouldn't judge tumor? them for it. There's the brain tumor defense. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I mean, there's like a thing where. I mean, there's got to be like. Is there anyone normal that dates like a seven, not like a seventeen year old, but like fifteen is inexcusable? You're just like you're a, you're a child molester. You're and he's, a child. Not, he's not fucking her, but just like even like the, the like his Elvis, twenty four and fourteen, terrible. It's fucking terrible. What was Charlie sure. Chaplin? Charlie Chaplin was like, 
in his late thirties, and she was like in it in her early teens. We were like, "Oh yeah, man, old enough to where... bleed, old enough to butcher." Uh, rang dang do. Oh, you talking about rang dang do? Rang do. I cut them and split them. I get them out of school. <laughs> what do they do when they all get food? You know, I wear one piece clothing. It's easier for the kids to figure out. I hang a ding. I hang a do dang. You wonder if I have sex in the morning? I'll just tell you, they always get ice cream when we do. I hang a dang. <laughs> ice cream for breakfast. Oh, looks like my girlfriend's crying. She must be up for her midnight feeding. A rang a hmm. A rang a hey now. Hmm. Well, since my baby teething. <laughs> I gotta go for <laughs> What? My family went young. Your family went young? This was the old country, I was told. Like my, my was the old country grandf- Jacksonville? My great grandfather <laughs> married my great grandmother. He, he was. He was in his 40s and she was 12. Yeah! Oh! Why, Jacob? Yo, Wait, man. Wait, this is like old, like what's the old country for that you? That was family? the vaudeville batats. Yeah, uh, old country was uh, <laughs> North Middle Jersey. East. <laughs> uh, the old South country. Jersey. Middle East. Uh, Middle oh, East. man. This is before. 40s and her tw- 12? It was like normal. Well. It was like they were, the girls were. Was it just like once you bled, you were good? I th- Jesus From what I'm Christine. Told, he allowed her to Get that on a t shirt. <laughs> he allowed her to play with dolls. <laughs> he what? He allowed her to play with dolls. Like he was compassionate with the fact oh, that she was good dude. Oh, what a good dude. He goes, Sometimes I think you like those dolls more than me. But my, yeah, that's <laughs> my just, other uh, side of the family. <laughs> Emotional great great patat. <laughs> he goes, Hey, I know you kinda wanna play with puppies and those dolls, but I've got some needs too. <laughs> Charlie we're Chaplin having, was uh, we're having corn family. off the cob tonight because <laughs> of you. Because of you. Another family member was thirty-five, married thirteen. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jacob Christ! What's up with your family? I mean, Jesus I come from Christ. Viking blood, but nothing that sad. You just really want yeah. to make more Jewish people as soon as possible. Hi, I don't. Are you eleven? Great, get over here. You gotta give me a baby. Fucking, uh, <laughs> that's fucking crazy. Yeah. This is Charlie Chaplin the, was did the big teeth come in yet? <laughs> he was did all the, the big teeth come in? <laughs> From what I'm told, it was, it was wedding the, pictures with like four teeth of like yay. Yeah. When I was like a little kitty, like yeah. I can eat apples again. <laughs> Have you seen pictures of the girls? Like, did they look? Do they look like he's super your, does young? Look like your did great, they look developed? So like, like your look, grandfather's holding a life size doll like on your mom's bed? Really yeah, hot as shit. So all to go. There's there's, <laughs> there's no. Photographs. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, but I get, I get why there's no photographs. In a rage of jealousy, did a gypsy turn into a life-size doll? Your mom keeps <gasps> on a bed now. Is that your great great grandmother? Is that your great grand great grandmother bride? Uh, there's one. F- they all look. I've seen pictures of my my great grandmother at that age, though, not with her husband. <laughs> and oh, you she got to looks, see the bachelorette photos? She looks shocked. That's always the face. Really? Say, shocked. Yeah, because one day she's playing house, and then she's just in it for real. <laughs> well, it also took like an hour to take a photograph, so everybody just looks ridiculous and old. And you know, <laughs> kids, you can't hold their attention. I don't know, Tiffy. The fucking bills are backing up. That's a problem. Just, what are bills? Yeah. <laughs> I like it when I go to the river, and I'm in the river, and it's cold, and then I get out in the grass. He goes... I just lost my first son to typhoid. <laughs> We're having pizza, yay! I like dough and honey. He goes, you will soon learn to be my bride. <laughs> bride? We're playing dress up like big I, girls. A big girl, I'm a big girl bride. He goes, yes, whatever. God, you're actually less annoying than my 22-year-old ex-girlfriend. <laughs> she just said literally every five words. At their... Uh their wedding meal everyone it's else chicken was nuggets. Stuff. she said yeah she had dinosaur nuggets <laughs> they had chicken nuggets and mac and cheese <laughs> she were of the kids and she, yeah <laughs> and then, and milkshake <laughs> they had Jewish wine and fucking dunkaroos <laughs> Can that's I not even old enough to be a woman in the Jewish religion Jacob 12 13 oh, no it's 12 for <laughs> fucking perfect oh what were you gonna say Jacob no I just I was gonna end by saying I do remember my great grandmother the, you remember? Yeah, she's only four yeah. years older than you. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. yeah, didn't you guys go to high school together? <laughs> You've been talking Puerto Rican stats now. Uh, the batats are getting it in quick and easy. I had some issues. They're all born with fat asses. As an adult. <laughs> it's just all the batats are born with fat asses. You don't know. That's their fault. Yeah, That's their and God's fault. What's in that milk? Because all the batats got batak dunks. Yeah, bataka dunks. <laughs> Batata dunks. Batata dunks. You met? Do you met her multiple times? Yeah, I remember as a kid. Yeah. 
had some issues. Like what? She's I want, crazy? I mean, now that I think about it, it's kind of understandable. Yeah, she, she had a raped. lot of issues. <laughs> she was raped for the first five years of her marriage. She had tons of issues. Really... Prom's coming up. She's raising four kids. Oh, God. What about all her fucking My Little Pony she had to give away? <laughs> yeah. She's starting to age out of the pigtails your great great grandfather still makes her wear. Yes, I got you a trapper keeper for your second trimester. I'm fifty. I'm. F- <laughs> you are fourteen. Uh, Kentucky's child bride bill stalls as group fights to let thirteen year olds wed in the state. Isn't this coming also from parents who are like, "Hey, you better let my kid get married." This isn't parents trying to stop people from marrying off their young kids. No, it's saying like, "Why aren't you letting my thirteen year old get married?" Yeah, right? Why can't my thirteen year old get married? Isn't that the approach? Of this, is this article? article? Did this article oh, get, it just got pulled? I think it may have gotten pulled because that was just a weird thing that popped up. Well, I guess we're back to wet dreams. It <laughs> says here you can ejaculate. <laughs> Hands free coming. No, here we go. It's bizarre. What's the fun in that? You had sex, sex dream? What? You had a sex dream, though? Yeah. Like, like right while I'm having sex? You finished on no, your leg. No, like you dream. You can have a you have a sex dream. It's been a it's been a while, but yeah, I had a sex dream about an ex girlfriend. That I, was the last dream I had. I think I know what you're saying. I don't know if I ever in the dream bury one. the needle. Oh I no, no no no! I don't bury the needle. I get very close to it, and it's hot. Sometimes I like she'll reach down, we'll kiss, or she'll like yeah, reach down yeah, my yeah. pants. I gotten a gentle lot of kisses, stuff. gentle stuff, vanilla Dan stuff, soft back of the neck shit. But I have had the Jennifer Aniston one. It was she. I remember. I remember exactly. She was on a stool, like a bar stool, and she split her legs in a mini dress. And then I entered her. She's like that swimmer. He likes to watch. And then I woke up and I went, Rachel, I have come all over my thigh. And then a monkey lifted off. Why don't you just? I don't know. Just go. Yeah. Uh, but that was the only sex dream I've ever had. I mean, I've had dreams about like exes where you're like. I don't think I've ever made fucking that. around. Maybe but I've I never have. had like full on porn. Like, yeah. Never well, because what would your mind be doing in the action of that? You feel like everything in your dream is action. There's never much of you observing. Yeah, you're in it somehow. You're doing something, or it's just you. If it's low action, it's just you, like hot action, f- afraid of something. But there's other people in it. Like, I don't know. Like the act of fucking doesn't have it. There's no nothing verbal to it really as yeah. much. You know what I mean? Yeah. What would you be seeing in your head, like your own back? That's what I'm saying, is you see it, I always the see face, it. Like, the close-up face, like, move it. Just their face like, is close, and yeah. then it's like, they're, you just, I know I'm being touched, so you're like, whoa. It would be strange days. I've been here, Dan. I've been waiting for you. It's me, Jennifer Aniston. Oh, hi. Hello. <laughs> She's single again, Dan. I know. I'm going to get on it. Get on it. Would you still? Yeah. Would you marry her? No. No? No. <laughs> too old? I mean, yeah, I want kids. She's too old for you? I don't know. She has kids, doesn't she? No. None? Still in the box. Oh, hell yeah, dude. She's in condition. Adopt a fucking weird African with her or something. Oh, man. I, I, make her I want a kid from Detroit. No, get a Filipino. <laughs> yeah, I would love a You'd Filipino. You'd be great with a Filipino. I love Filipino people. Hell yeah. We work in Alaska with them. Teach them all a bunch of tall shit that he'll never figure out. Pino pride. <laughs> Teach them how to swat a basketball. How to <laughs> yeah. get cookies off the top of a refrigerator. You got to rise up and dominate the court. I'll teach him how to shave his body hair, even though he's not going to have any. <laughs> he's not going to have any. <laughs> this is shaving, son. You'll need this once in a while when you're an adult. <laughs> Maybe. If Maybe. you're bored one day in the shower. If you don't look like a rickshaw driver, <laughs> you'll do this. You don't look like a peasant. Yeah. Uh, did you find the article? Yeah, this is it. And what's going on is there is a bill to change the age of consent to 18, and there was something on up for a vote to keep it at 13 and they kind of like threw that out and there was some law saying that like if a girl under 16 was pregnant she could get married but also if she's under 16 pregnant there's evidence that a sex crime was committed because she's Jesus. too young to consent so it, it's a little goofy but it looks like the, the girl that's leading it is uh she was pushed into a marriage at 13. Looks like, nobody, looks like nobody could push her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shove. Yikes. It's a shove lady. Yeah. You had to fucking uh, throw shoulder blade into that yeah. one. She goes, well, I was kind of maneuvered. Yeah. <laughs> she calls her the perpetrator became and it says uh her husband the man she now calls her perpetrator became violent and abusive after they married in 2000 a wedding she was encouraged by her mother who was married oh, at 13 wow. a guy who married a child's unstable i don't believe yeah. that Interesting. i can't imagine like you send your 13 year old daughter off to get married and then it's just like that dude's responsible to finish raising them yeah thanks gus <laughs> why what's the evidence that you know i bet there are weird numbers to it but what's the evidence really that a marriage that starts in teen years ever works out. 
but high. There are, but there 98% are ninety-eight percent. I'll tell you what. Now it's not that it'd be that high at all. But there are when you go on the road. Don't you get in the middle of the country a little bit, or a, a little more of like a hot younger girl, a, a rural, a rural area. But forgetting like the age difference there. Just but there's not even so much of an age difference. Like even if they're close to the same age. It's like been together since like the girl was like thirteen or whatever, yeah. and and got married when they were seventeen. But you know, maybe have like twenty some year old kids. I'm talking about people you meet that are adults, adults now. Yeah, that have made it work somehow. But you wonder, is it like just gutting it out, or is it like super fun still, or what is it? You know, so what keeps the spark alive? Is it knowing that you were in high school when she was born? No, and we're making more babies going out there to get married. Oh, yeah. I think a lot of it's too because it's so. There's a organization, girlsnotbrides.org. They're kind of like you know. Being a voice all over the world for this happening because a lot of it's arranged marriages. There's well, you know, that's kids different that cultures and stuff. Yeah. This is Kentucky. Yes, and they're like it's 2018 in America. Like this can't happen. <laughs> yeah. Well, we follow the teachings of Vishnu. Yeah. Down here, I'm, we're real big in the eight armed whatever you have. It's I I go by classic Tootsie rules. <laughs> if I'm brought three bags of grain and an ox, she get he gets my daughter. Sure. Twelve's young, but in the who to culture. Yeah, who to? Yeah. <laughs> there he goes. I have made a great trade. I have gotten a fat white thirteen-year-old girl for a sick ox. You hear that? Who to? I got him. <laughs> Hook line and sinker. My little girl just got us a cow. <laughs> Who to? My mother was very emotionally and physically abusive. Oh boy. Her mother and was. My father passed away when I was 13 years old. Flowers and I had no attic, coping yeah. skills to be able to deal, you know, with his passing or the trauma that I had experienced from my mother. And my behavior ended up becoming out of control. And at 14, I was admitted to a behavioral health facility. This is straight up the out of control teens from Dr. Phil and Maury, yeah. but like real. Oh, like, no. But that's really great. That's what we should do with them. Catch Me Outside girls should have just been forced into marriage. <laughs> 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 but you see what I'm saying? Like, you know those girls that are like, and I want a baby and I don't care. My baby's going to have all this stuff. This the other that's end of her. It? This is the other end of it. Where it's like, oh, my mother was incredibly abusive. I, said, I got she my baby crazy. a beeper. Uh, <laughs> He had uh, the, his baby booties that he came home. No, no, we got to do it from the side of the baby. You go, I had a pager when I was a child. I don't understand the use of that. <laughs> I had a bunch of FUBU clothes. Um, never met my father. My mother was very aggressive, physically and emotionally. Um, it was very odd. I, I never saw my mother wearing a pair of pants, didn't have a word written across the ass. <laughs> <laughs> my grandmother was yelled out of my life. And... <laughs> Dr. Phil is the only thing that took care of me. Because I've um, been feeding her from my breast <laughs> for over 15 years. We used to get pulled over very often because you can't put a car seat in the passenger side of a Miata. <laughs> but she wanted a Miata. Um, so we drove in a Miata. My mother became an assistant manager of Zubaz. <laughs> or no, Zoomies. And I was assistant manager because she always brought me to work. So she I did me in the back where I was forced to make Velcro wallets. Referred to as my perpetrator. She says perpetrator, and just from the other room, he goes, Oh, come on, <laughs> Candace. <laughs> Darlene, yeah. just make dinner and stop with this hemming and hawing. Why, y'all? You call me the perpetrator when you've had a bad day. You know that, and I've known that since you were 13 years old. I know that's a tick of yours. <laughs> I'm sorry, Annie says, has slow monthly sales this week. Yeah, oh, but um, Jesus. I told you retail was going to piss you off. <laughs> She's uh, about to say that it was a guy while she was in the mental, mental health, health facility. Please continue. He was 29 years old. Yikes. And he started grooming me in the facility. Then upon my release, my mother consented to me having a dating relationship with this person. And she would let him come down to where we were living at the time and spend the night with me. Isn't that the vernacular of um, pimping, grooming? Yeah. Or no, it's with uh, when they abduct kids and shit, right? Yeah, they groom them. They get them like prepared to almost go with you and not even realize they're going so voluntarily. Yeah, yeah, that's some fucked up shit. That's a weird. Well, something someone's got in her head to really tell her like what's going on. It's a shame because like there's no middle ground with it at all. Yeah, like like with her thing now, it's like it's got to be taught. And by the way, I'm sure she went through a nightmare, but it's got to be referred to everything exactly. It's like perpetrator. And yeah, it has to. Where it's like 
the reality is like, yeah, this shithead and my stupid fucking parents. But you know, everything's got to be now. Like, it's so heavy now. It's like, yeah. he, he stole my childhood. You know, it's, yeah. because it's just like these morons that well, fucking. Mon- I mean, these guys are fucking assholes. They're monsters. They're they're pieces of shit. No, yeah, I know. What I'm saying, but, but it's like because they, they don't realize they fucking. But I'm saying, but you come out of this, yeah. Like her life being back together, like this chick, it's always going to be just weird. Oh, yeah, dude. I mean, to, to, to glue it back together, <clears throat> there's times where, like, I know we shit on our dads being deadbeats and, like, being raised by single moms. We're so lucky that we didn't get fucked when we were little because we are prime candidates. Oh, yeah. I was ready for the, I was oh, ready for the picking. All I wanted was someone to like me. Little fat titties. <laughs> I was thick. Oh, I would have let them finish all over my big forehead. I dressed like a hot girl, too. I was thick, and I wore short shorts and fucking super high knee socks. Oh, dude. That's, are you kidding me? I should have been was, on roller skates eating a big lollipop I was, and a fucking... I was begging for it in shiny umbros, just riding up my butt as I'm riding my bike. I used to stand. I used to stand up the pedal. Oh, my tussie looked juicy for a oh. fucking for a molester. Dick. I was I was, I was tall. Ready to take it. I was tall and long, but then I fuck like a ballerina. I bet I would have been turned out. Yeah, like, yeah, a Nathan. Yeah, That's the fucking best. Damn it. This is why you keep getting molested. <laughs> <laughs> That's some Family Guy will tweet it out at the bonfire. Just one of the fucking man. History pops up again. Uh, DIY. Two places in one night. You guys are wild. So, you guys keeping this party going? Nathan. <laughs> Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> but really, man, you you think about it, dude. It's like your your bootylicious body, my temperament. I guess I was molested. I don't know. I'm like oh, 15. Wow. I don't a, know. You came in with a smile like that. Where I was like, well, mm-hmm. it, it's so funny because Jay's like, are you sure you weren't molested? You really had the personality of somebody that was molested. <laughs> Jay, well, Christina Ram, she's on my butt. Keep her mouth shut about it. Jay's just looking across the table from me with such a look of like, mm-hmm. I called this shit. Later on when Christine wails on my asshole, yeah. she's not going to tell anybody. I'm not oh, when you're just it. pumping out things like fucking lotion out of a pump. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> Ah. I still to this day think of myself at 15 as like older than yeah. like Isabella. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it, it's a weird thing to. You weren't to molested is the wrong word, but I mean, you were definitely like, I mean, you were manipulated. Statutory rape by every step of the world. You weren't even manipulated. Like, it's just. You, I just was so excited somebody was paying me attention, which goes back to like what you were just saying. But a 20 something year old guy, I'm saying when you're fucking a 20 something year old guy, who are you saying? I mean, saying? a 30 year old, like I wouldn't have been like, oh no, you're 30. That's too old for me. Like if. But I'm saying, he, but a 26 year old guy, it was like, and he was, and, and he was 15, and it was, 16. he wasn't like a wretched looking guy who couldn't get laid, oh, so right? Gross. Like it wasn't no. like, it wasn't like if a 15 year old didn't fuck him, he wouldn't fuck anybody. No, he had a ever. girlfriend and an eight year old daughter. <laughs> he had an eight year old daughter? Yeah. Yeah. Now I got to go back and fuck her. You happy? <laughs> to set things right. This is why the planet's overheating. <laughs> <laughs> Jay has to fuck that 26-year-old woman now. Ew. Uh, <laughs> too old. It's not going to hurt him. I know. Daddy's fucking... He had an eight-year-old daughter? Yeah. What I'm saying is my point is being the guy could get laid, so the fact that he's accepting... Full, not even just like we. I mean, not that anything's better, but if you were just like, I don't know, it's like fifteen, she comes over and she gives me a hand job. I don't know. Yeah, yeah he like, like preyed on high school girls. But I'm saying, yeah. but, but like regularly fucking them is such a weird like. It's so you, weird because you want to fuck a fifteen year old. No, yeah, it wasn't I really like once or twice. It was like years. I really <laughs> couldn't get laid until I started trying to fuck women, like wi- like late twenties, early thirties. Sure. When I was in my early twenties, because when I was in my late teens, I never got laid. Sometimes I'd maybe hook up with a girl, but I had sex maybe. In my early, like late teens, early twenties, up to like twenty one, maybe had sex five times. Yeah, I don't. I, I five had or six. I had more than that well, five I, or six different people. Five or six. Yeah, I had plenty, five or six plenty of people. times with probably like five or six different yeah. people. Five yeah. or six yeah. different people. Yeah. And then when I started working at KFMA for KFMA Day, tickets KFMA on sale Day. Day. now. Hey. Uh, go get tickets now. KFMA dot com. I don't even know if it's still a real thing. Uh, Oh, it's still a real thing. No, KFMA Day is a real thing. I don't know if KFMA.com, they might have changed it to like 92.1 KFMA. I don't know. They changed the calls, uh, the frequency. I'm, I'm lost. Anyways, when I started working there, I started working around, like, I'd go to bars because of work events. Mm-hmm. And I was 20. I was 19, 20. Mm-hmm. So it was like 2021 is when I started being like, oh, like meeting women and being like, hey. You're like, Pretty huge. Danny so it's coming to cleaning up the milk. But I never, I never cleaned up as much as I could just... I could meet women to get laid, whereas, sure. like, there was guys I went to college with that were just f- nailing everything, and they're just like, right. this girl and, and, from and, Theta's coming over, you're like, I don't even know how to talk I to saw her. a buddy this week, and my buddy, you remember Josh Wade? Yeah. I mean, I remember Josh Wade, like, years ago, we told a story, we, we were flyering a fucking mall to get people to come to our show. Yeah. 
uh, and like Cherry Hill, and like at the mall, he didn't even before he even performing the show. He just pulled this like smoking hot Asian shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like he was a guy that could put, and that was never my. My friend game. Adam, man, my friend Adam, growing up, he could hit on women. He was uh, he was like our age, but he was always good. he was good with girls since like sixth grade, and well, he get he get laid by like all he yeah. had sex with all those girls. But not to get too far off the subject, though, I'm saying the idea at 26 years old, it's I gross. definitely knew that fucking a 15 year old would be like. Forget the legality of it. I'm like, what would he be the point? Dude, of? Like, that's going to be like a girl. girl who has no idea. The girls I fucked when I was younger that were younger are all my stories of like, I don't like to have my pussy eaten because something weird happened. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. All the weird apprehensions and odd like shit is always. And I'm not talking about like, there's plenty of adult women who don't want you to put shit up their ass. Yeah. You know I mean, I'm, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about just the simplicity of like, like weird. Like, I, I, I mean, I've had like no, young girls I, and things where it's like, I kind of like, I have to like cover my ears or something when I fuck. I don't, I don't have a good example because yeah, I'm making yeah. that up, but it's like just some weird thing. I need to hear walls collapsing. It's got to be this kind of music. It's got to be this kind of whatever thing. There's like a thing. It's always younger. I remember when I was 23, you knew her. My first girlfriend when we moved to New York. I was 23. My girlfriend was 18, and I was like, this is too young. Yeah. When I found out she well, was she 18. Well, she couldn't go to bars, right? So yeah, yeah. When I was when I our first date, I found out she was 18 because I waited on her at Dos Caminos and I served her alcohol because I thought she was 21. She looked 21, 22, and then I looked her up on Facebook and saw her birthday. And my I was at K Rock and my fucking heart jumped into my throat. I was like, Yes, no, <laughs> no. It was more like, Fuck, should I do? What should I do? And then I ended up, we ended up being together for like two or three years. And yeah, she got yeah. too old. I was like, get out of here. And then I started circling well, around the high schools. Ew, Same pubes? age difference <laughs> of like 17 and 22. Like, so it wasn't 15 and 20, but 17 and 22. And I dated the guy for like three years. There like from go. 17 to 20. But 17 is some... That, but there's something... Did your mom die by then? Okay. Well, that my mom died like four months before my virginity okay, that bumps story. You up. <laughs> that bumps you up. Dead parent bumps you up two years maturity-wise. 17, 22. By 17, I was like, right. I, I, I would be I happy to get married. If Isabella was in that, I wouldn't be happy about no, that. No, 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 no. Not at all. Yeah. But if I was 22, But again, you also, in a weird way... It's weird seeing also, 15 as an adult. There's yeah. a very thing, though, about seeing... Like, 15 is not an adult. I th- I'd hope that I'd be open-minded enough to be... 17, 22, I'd probably... Wouldn't feel very much. Eighteen and twenty-two. I think I'd be like, I want to meet the twenty-two. I don't have a choice really, anyway. But yeah. the point. But it's like I'd want to meet the twenty-two-year-old and be like, what do you do? You know what I mean? But I think that doesn't. I don't know, man. It doesn't um, read eighteen twenty-two weird. isn't as weird. He, he didn't introduce me to his mom until I turned eighteen because he started dating a couple months before my eighteenth birthday. Better known as Nick the Dick. Oh, <laughs> I don't mean fifteen as an adult. It's weird being an adult and seeing Jay's daughter yeah. and just like seeing what. I mean, I didn't want to. I didn't want to bum Isabella out, but. I remember when she turned 14, she was like, you're 14. I'm like, that's how old I was when my dad died. Oh, God, you're here with I know. I see her. I'm like, oh, mom was dead when yeah. I was your age. It's just weird because <laughs> you're like, Bella's going to be 18 when I die. <laughs> Don't it's, say that. Don't say that. So if I, I got it. This is always going to be known as the episode on Bonfire Wikipedia. Where you called the your The episode where Christine says she got uh, raped. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did. <laughs> Manipulated. Manipulated. Groomed. Ooh. She had big boobs. Oh. Uh, she did not. <laughs> she did not have big boobs. Check out Big J tonight through Saturday at Downtown Comedy Works in Denver, Colorado, the greatest city in the world. And then he's going to be at Zany's Nashville April 6th and Saturday, April 7th. Go get tickets at BigJComedy.com and all of his other dates are there. And, you know, just hang out, watch some video. Danny Sodes. As per usual, hitting the road. Going to be at Zany's in Nashville Thursday, March 8th through Saturday, March 11th. Uh, after that, you can catch him at Helium in Buffalo, New York. Uh, such a fun club. And if you go outside, you could smell the sweet smells of General Mills burning off all their cereal. I love that smell. Is that real? Oh, yeah. you never been to Buffalo Helium before? Yeah, I have, but I didn't know that was a real thing. When you go outside of the club, you can hear them burning off cereal. It smells so great. What the fuck? Uh, that's going to be April 5th through Saturday, April 7th. Get your tickets for that and all band shows at dansoda.com. And remember, everybody, Austin Tejas... Yeah. We're doing that Moon Tower Comedy Festival again. We're doing it again this year for the third time. Uh, the whole gang's coming. It's going to be a blast. Uh, it's Friday, April 20th, 7 p.m. at Antone's in Austin, Texas. Um, this has been a super fun Lost Tapes day. Fucking A right, bud. We've really got to know each other. we really got to get Christine to therapy. we got to get Sierra Sky to unblock us. Because I have fans and Shane Gillis sending me pictures of Sierra Sky. She's so hot. Show you her from today because it was so good. On uh, this? Yes. Let me yeah. see. Hold it up for me. Here. Shane Gillis just texted me that. I can't really see it from here, but it looks like it's good. 
She's pretty hot, everyone. Oh, you good did? News. So, oh, good sweet job, dreams bro. and happy thigh comes when you wake up. Yeah, thigh come. We'll see you Monday. Catch you Monday. Bye.